Okay. There we go. Let's see if you uh got some sound card coming at me. Test, 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 test. There you are, baby. That's it, right here on RLMRadio.xyz, RealLibertyMedia.com. This is a dork table. Hey, I'm uh, over here with Flash somebody. Well, I'm here. He's there. And somewhere Greetings in between. and salutations, there, there Vincent. Is. We come together. All right. Woohoo. Hey, baby, I, I have Hank come on and talk to you. Okay. I'm looking at levels and... Uh, that really yeah. jumped, and let's test your mic. I think we're all good now. Testy pokey, spokey. I, this is the opposite. I'm just a little bit louder than you, so I'll talk softer. <laughs> There's a strange one. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Things that you never hear Vinny say out loud. <laughs> you talk louder than me. <laughs> that was good. I wasn't dying. I was only uh, exasperating. Is that the right word? Hey, let's yes. say, I, I love this from you. I, yeah, you know what? Some people, even you, think that sometimes we're all like conflicting and stuff in our contrasting this occupation. But really and truly, I mean, uh, we we kind of we got a connection. We we understand, but maybe it's the words that we use that is the confusion. But I do love bots and bodies, and I took your title that you gave yeah. for our, that, our one show, uh, The Grace yeah. of Good, and I brought it in, because it really, uh, it just when you said it, it, goes boom, right there, that's what I'm talking about right here, The Grace <laughs> of Good. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you got something out of it. Yeah, definitely. So, hey, the bots and bodies, as you like to say, there's Barman and Grimner at the top, our only at, uh, what do you call them guys with the at symbol before them? Because I said, oh, uh, especially Ops. Grim, because he Mox. babysits me Mox. through my learning experience on the radio. Yeah, well, Grimner's the boss man around here, and we sure appreciate all the work he does. I, I want to tell you what, man, <clears throat> there there ain't money enough or words enough to thank Grimner. <laughs> no that's, shit. That's I know. Uh, it's, yeah. It seems so simple, but an internet site. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but it's, it's I bet not he's simple as it sounds. I I bet he said them to himself a thousand times. What was I thinking? <laughs> no, I I think the good that comes from it outweighs the inconvenience of being pissed off. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man! People need to grow up and stop getting all ass hurt every time somebody disagrees with your stupid side of the stupid I fucking story. I know, and then because I'm gonna tell you what I know. Somebody. Yeah. We're all wrong. That's why it works this way. I'm not nobody all right. knows what the fuck is going on. Might not be all right, but I am all right. I'm all right, guys. But I'm I not know. all wrong. I know that, too. Mr. Butts and Bodies. Yeah, then there's <laughs> D- DC in back brackets. I think he was uh, lifting heavy items. You going to get some back brackets on there. Uh, Anti! That guy is a musical uh, maniac. Uh, got a lot of great stuff that uh, is different, and like me, uh, I don't like pop music and regular stuff. Sometimes I do, you know, there's like the disco, uh, what is it, disco song? Can you think of a good disco song from the Bee Gees? What's no, your favorite Bee Gees song? But if Grimner's the women were online right now, they would. Uh, all the women know all that stuff. That's why guys learn it, so they can get laid. Give man, you remember back when he was dancing to, with John Travolta? Saturday Night not Fever. me. What? Not, oddly enough. Singing with in Greece. Da 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 da, with the uh, Olivia Newton John. No, I hey, but I've been not, a comedian my whole no. life, so I I put on. Say hi clothes. to the people, Edith. Okay, Edith. Oh, get the door, ding dong, ding dong. Hey, anti ass motel Sidoni, I be Doncy. That's the same man wearing the back brackets. Job the doctor too. Mister Meister, Meister Brow Woody. Uh, a ponder gander, one that wanders and wanders. Uh, Kate and Rob works in Rome's Vanna White. Now, what do you make of this name? I want you to say that name right there. How would you pronounce that? Because this is an experiment. Vinny's a mess. No, no, no. Read my neck right there. I just did. Vinny is a mess. He doesn't say that. That's how I read it. No, V I N E T O. Yeah. W A R I S. <laughs> You don't obviously you don't watch South Park very often. Oh do you? no, I don't leave it like okay. some idiots. Um, so, why? Wait a minute. Try so it the, for real. You're gonna make a big deal yes. out of one of your fifty yes. freaking names? Are you yes. out of your mind? I'm not playing that game. 
You're come, alone on come the, on, game, man. the game, Mister. Now get Cirque on here to talk to you about your freaking names. Okay, go get her. I only do the important stuff. Go get her. Life, go get her, and I'll say, I'll say howdy to the rest of the bots and bodies. Weather dork. <laughs> I, I don't like weather dork. It's just like, what are you? It's like yesterday was going to rain, and new to next week uh, it might be hot. Something like that. We had a better one. Somebody broke okay. the dork. The bot. Uh, Beth Z up in Canada, Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> if issues on free node. Good to see more hunts off. Where was I? Oh, and well, then <laughs> let me see. That's right. That's Mike, Mr. Salt Lake City himself. Right there was Circle. Oh, she's so nice. Uh, she, I she's like Circle. She is? Go wake her up. No, hey, she's hey, listen, not listen. sleeping. She's just laying over there. Is her eyes closed? I don't know. She's go, got go her put, back. Go put your headphones on. <laughs> on her. And I'll go. Wow, you should give a lot of advice. <laughs> you follow your own fucking advice there, Vin, you know, Vinny? No, <laughs> are you kidding? I, uh, if my advice, Vinny vice, I have no vices, man. I well, follow you know, no vices. You know wrong? Yeah, but do you know what's I'm wrong not, with advice that's I, free? I'm not paying for it. Free advice is free advice. Yeah. That's, that's why it's free. That's a deception. Look, the word add, it. the word add yeah. is right there. Add. Yeah. Ad. yeah. Uh, Buys. Uh, you, know, you know what sells more no. than anything in the world? One single word sells more than anything. Is Boobs. The word free. Boobs are close. Oh. Second. Yeah. Oh. Well, Cyborg Noodle may be able to <laughs> tell you a thing or two. Free. Do not know. Dakota. Dakota, you, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're back. Uh, we miss you when you're not here. Dork Cakes. This is the greatest guy. Right mental. Yes. A mental. And Flash somebody. That's you who mm-hmm. flew to the other side of the world. And Frumped. Yeah, and Frumped. But I, I was, I've been here a long time now. Yeah, a long time. And boy, my arms were tired. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Frumped and Frumpy and Graham Z. That's like the Whoa, last Graham. Mary is hanging out. With the darks. Uh, where, where, where? Oh, JJ's nine. He's over in Scotland, eh? Yeah, yeah. JJ's nine. JJ's yeah. Mm-hmm. And kiss with an underscore as well. Moi, oui. You, you, you say it. Mom, 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 mom. Mm. Hey, mom. Yeah. Mm. Right, stop mm. puppet and smart ass. Mm. Yes, it's very good. Very smart. Just ask a question. Okay. What do you want to know? What is? How do you spell Philistine? I don't. Okay. Well, I don't. I've know never in my you. life have I ever okay. used that's the word a in, in writing. I've never written the word Philistine. Um, I don't know what else to say. I guess that's a show. That's a wrap. Thanks I've for listening, it, everybody. I've, Thanks, Flash. You I've never had it? the pleasure of using the word in in type or you know writing. Really? Philistine. Uh-huh. Well, who the fuck would I call a Philistine? And why would I call him? Yeah, you know, I think it actually has a, a translated uh, definition of like uh, like a troglodyte in a way. I'm gonna go look that up. Ugh, troglodyte. Yeah. Well, I got a link for the dork table today. I found. Oh, goody. You I want to read it. Read. And I'll shut up. I want to read like a, yeah. I'll I'll do this until you're ready. But oh uh, yes. Because I, I like to interrupt my links in the middle and then change the subject, go all crazy. But. I was perusing minds dot com just a little while ago, and I've always been fond of wheat bread, and wheat bread is always the least favorite of breads. It's like if, if there's no other choice, then I'll I'll eat wheat bread, and I kind of prefer it. So I found the story today on minds dot com, which I play with, and it's called <clears throat> the real reason wheat is toxic. And in parentheses, it says, it's not the gluten. And the story goes such as, I think I'll print a copy of this before I get to my verbalization. And I'll post it on the main feed. So if you want to see it for yourself, because this, this is kind of interesting stuff. And I even bet, if, if you I don't can interrupt care, real quick, I bet yeah, it has yeah. to do with the uh, glycoph- uh, glycophate. 
Is that how you say it? Well, why don't you open the link and look, or okay. wait until I read something, Mister? I can guess. Oh, wow, I was just playing along. Taking all the fun out of my game here, Mister. Okay. You're, ex- you know, exposing me to the masses before I can read. Do you think that Put I'm clothes, a philistine, yeah. sir? Good sir, are you calling me a philistine or, or perhaps to find, to a troglodyte? Philistine. Well, a person. Well, let, me, let me do the story and then I'll I'll call you a, a, everything but a white boy when I'm finished. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I haven't read the story, but I like the headline. And I like the idea because I like wheat. And everybody else is like, you like that shit. Bah. And then the people that don't care for the wheat flavor, bread, wheat bread flavor, there are, their, their next argument with, oh, it's got gluten. I can't eat gluten. Well, here's the story that they're written in this particular uh, outlet for. The real reason wheat is toxic, it's not the gluten. The stories became too far too frequent to ignore. Emails from folks with allergic or digestive issues to wheat in the United States experienced no symptoms whatsoever when they tried eating pasta on vacation in Italy. Confused parents wondering why wheat consumption sometimes triggered autoimmune reactions in their children, but not at all other times. In my own home, I've long pondered why my husband can eat the wheat I prepare at home, but he experiences negative digestive effects eating even a single roll in a restaurant. There is clearly something going on with wheat that is not well known by the general public. It goes far and beyond organic versus non-organic gluten or hybridization because even conventional wheat triggers no symptoms for some who eat wheat in other parts of the world. What indeed is going on with wheat? For quite some time, I secretly harbored the notion that wheat in the United States must, in fact, be genetically modified. GMO wheat secretly invading the North American food supply seemed the only thing that made sense and could account for the varied experiences I was hearing about. I reasoned that it couldn't be the gluten or wheat hybridization. Gluten and wheat hybrids have been consumed for thousands of years. Just didn't make sense that this could be the reason for so many people suddenly having <clears throat> problems with wheat and gluten in general in the past five to ten years. Fine. <clears throat> Finally, the answer came over dinner a couple months ago with a friend who was well versed in the wheat production process. I started researching the issue for myself and was quite frankly horrified at what I discovered. The good news is that the reason wheat has become so toxic in the United States is not because it is secretly GMO as I had feared, thank goodness. The bad news is that the problem lies with the manner in which wheat is grown and harvested by conventional wheat farmers. You're going to want to sit down for this one. I've I've had some folks burst into tears in horror when I passed along this information before. Burst into freaking tears over news. Okay. Uh, Common wheat harvest protocol in the United States is to dredge the wheat fields with Roundup several days before the combine harvesters work through the fields as the practice allows for an earlier, easier, and bigger harvest. Pre-harvest application of the herbicide <coughs> Roundup and other herbicides containing the deadly active ingredient glyphosate to wheat and barley as a uh, something <coughs> to, 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 I don't know how to read this freaking word. I don't never seen that word in my life. I'm going to pass it. Was suggested uh, early as 1980. It has since become routine over the past 15 years and is used as a drying agent 7 to 10 days before harvest within the conventional farming community. According to Dr. Stephanie Seneff of MIT, uh, who has studied the issue in depth, and who I recently saw present on the subject at a nutritional conference in Indianapolis. Desiccating? I never heard of this. Non-organic wheat crops with glyphosate just before harvest 
came into vogue late in the 1990s, with the result that most of the non-organic wheat in the United States is now contaminated with it. Wow. Well, there's a little bit more to read, but desiccant. wow. You there, you there? Yeah, it's a, it's pronounced desiccant. Uh, the glyph- desiccant. Yeah. I, yeah. The glyphosate is shit. sprayed on. See, now realize that they've got these, uh, this huge uh, mobile force that goes from uh, the south up to the north for harvest, right? As the, uh, the it used to be, you know, the, the migrant workers would go and they'd, you know, come in and um, way back when with the hand sickle, you know, and cutting and stuff, um, and w- would arrive for the ha- harvest time. Now, in order to really make this thing run smooth and where it all just, you know, on up they go, they've got to have this all planned out, right? And so whether they be a member of a co-op or uh, they um, pay, uh, subcontract the, uh, the the harvesting done, they need to have it ready. I mean, it can't be a sitting there too green and it can't be uh, so dry that it falls off. So they spray it, and that application causes this you know, certain amount of time there. I believe you read that in there. Uh, was it five to ten days or something like that? So they can time their harvest and the arrival of the harvest. Seven to ten days. Seven to ten. Thank you. That's uh, what the paper said. Yeah. So in the meantime, we're getting all that stuff down in there to our gut brain, which, um, you know, that gut feeling, there's more to it than that, too. It, that second brain we've got. And they say there's another one, I think, somewhere. But I forget it. I lose my kidney all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we get. Yeah, we get poison. Apparently. Yeah, it's feed. See, there's a difference between feed and food. Now, feed, mm-hmm. yeah. now they feed this the same garbage to the uh, the animals industry. That, that these we are eat. like Yes, and these things are like the most yeah. unimaginable, torturous prisons that exist is factory farming. And they yep. feed them that crap, and then it goes on through them and into us. And, um, you yeah, know, we get feed. You get uh, feed lots, you know, with cattle. Uh, a lot of people probably don't understand how the cattle operation works. They don't just go out there and rustle up an old steer and, and uh, uh, slap a brand on them, drag them in, and cut steaks off. It's set up where you have a, a number of bulls that would service as the appropriate amount of cows. Uh, and then... So people sell, there's different ways uh, livestock's traded. Uh, you can sell cow, uh, pears, which is cow-calf. But generally, where the money comes in is they're coming in, they're, they're buying these uh, young heifers and uh, steers, and if they're not been cut, they'll be cut uh, right there at the sale barn. Uh, and then they take them to the feedlot, and they fatten them up there and dump all that, you know, seizure, just keep them in, all bunched up. I don't know if everybody's seen a feedlot. But the mounds of cow dung is mount is mountains high, piles up. That's uh used to be I guess the same way with what the dairies turned into. This when I was a kid I'd go down the road to the dairy and I'd dip cream off the top for my milk and uh oh boy he milked them and the milk truck came and picked it up and there's hardly any dairies left in Arkansas. All controlled by the yep. price of butter fat. You got it. Butter fat. Let me tell well, you about a Philistine, and then I'll give you back the mic. Oh, okay. Because Philistine I way. think I was not being hostile or indifferent to your culture, sir, uh, and the arts neither. Or, and I, and it says, or who has no understanding of them? Oh, Philistine. It's like a yeah, a dumb brute. So that's where I uh, kind of put that together with uh, a troglodyte. And of course, the Philistines uh, well, if were you an ancient. Troglodyte, it would have been more clear. Yeah, but really, it's a little bit different uh, because a troglodyte is like a, a dust a dumb brute. Period. With uh, supposedly, uh, a Philistine can sign his name. I reckon. Yeah, and a Philistine it is called Philistines. They were ancient. Philistine. Okay. Well, are we on? Are we doing a remake of freaking Young Frankenstein? Yeah, Frankenstein. <laughs> Well, well, my grandfather's work was doo doo. <laughs> Funny you say that, because the Philistines were ancient people known for their biblical conflict with the Israelites. Oh yeah, all this biblical 
fighting bullshit. It's just another form of politics. My it's all God, bullshit. Baby, it's all God. made up bullshit by a bunch of dreamers that want to rule the world, and they're doing it. And they do it with the people that are just too lame to figure things out for themselves, I think. Yeah. Because if you need the support of a group of millions, then there's probably something fucking wrong with you, and you need help. You know what is completely ironic is the fact that the completely uh, yeah that the these uh, people that say they were victims of a holocaust and the the <laughs> murderous things that were done to their them and their ancestors and then we've got these people that are almost called Philistines but Palestinians so they, yeah. you know you well, hear some of them standing of all that shit was they were just labor camps mm -hmm. and people died in labor camps period. They worked, but they didn't treat them as badly as we were. Oh, we I were bet there were terrible the things that happened. Yeah, right, right. Well, let me ask you a question then. How does somebody that fucking grew up in a concentration camp grow up to be 80 years old? Well, you, if you're it's so fucking bad in your concentration camp, how did you goddamn survive it? Well, it you know, doesn't you make would, sense. You would consider attrition in, in numbers and survival right? But the, the, wait a minute. Can I get them? Can I get them? I got him. I got the duck. He's I duck killed hunting. it. Vinny, yeah, Vinny to war is pew. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, back to that, huh? Yeah, back to that. You, what do you want to go to war for? And who with you, dumbass? Hey, but you know what? what? It's a trick. What? It's not what? really Vinny to war is. It's <clears throat> Benito Juarez. Uh, it's not what you wrote, you bonehead. That's two different languages. I but know, anyhow, but don't you like the way I broke those so into two? Why and made do you want to go to what? What broke? Did you bump your head? Yeah. What, I mean, what the fuck is the point of all that shit anyway? It's ignorant. What? Kill That's what ducks? idiots do. Kill, I'm they a, they yeah. seize and control other people's shit because they're too ignorant to just get along. <laughs> Getting along is too much work for a psychopath. I thought this was rather clever, and and even possibly as clever as Don Quixote, Don Quixote, Cervantes' mount. Yeah, Vinny, Vinito Juarez. Whatever tickles your pickle, Vinny. But it's also that, uh, what do you call that, uh, when you, words is meaning something else there, also? Vinny oh, you mean like you don't war, need to be yes. an Arab to hate a Jew? That kind of bullshit? Something like that. I don't Cause know. I, I, please, I know a lot of Arabs and they don't bother me and I don't bother them. Oh, and we just forget about it. I have lots no, of lots, big thing I have lots of well, what they call uh, coins? one of those new one of those new Muslim girls that got into Congress took a bunch of shit on the internet about uh, being anti-Semitic, and they're blaming that. See, instead of looking at the truth, and Israel's a fucking place that you don't want to send your kids, they they blame that uh, everything that the Arabs say about Israel is bullshit because the Arabs don't like the Jews. I've and got a it's the way question. that Jews get away with doing all this horrible shit that they fucking do is because they got the Arabs as a bunch of scapegoats. And uh, Muslim, Arab, it's the same bullshit. Can I ask a, a very pointing question? I don't know, can you? How can somebody that is a white Caucasian claim to be Semitic? I don't fucking know in the first place. Well, I mean... But their anti-Semitic is a double... It's double speak. It's so the person listening only hears anti. They don't even know what the fuck a Semitic is. They're against it. So it's double talk so that you can't ever call the Jews up for what they do. Boy, that's the way the world's going these days. You get that's the way it's always words. gone, Vinny. It's so words. It's never been any different. Words. We got the internet now. Time. It's the change. This is the in the difference. Instant communication. <laughs> so now it's a race between the people that tell the bullshit stories and the people that don't. You know, like they, we've got our Hansel every freaking day reminding us of how good it is to not be a fucking voter. <laughs> You know, people uh, should be say? thanking me for having brought hands over here because it gives such many great, great hours of entertainment. He's the, probably the uh, most discussed topic in chat at Real Liberty Media. And you know why that is? It's because, because he he's the winner. He soup every he fucking is, day. No, he defeats you all every day. You know why? 
because you say Hans or Dread, and you know, your response is that's what he wants. He's in here having fun to see who he can oh, yeah. I know. tickle. It's sad. So he's changed over these several years that I've seen him. I've been working slowly. He's very slow to change, you know, so I'm taking him through these uh, social experimentation processes. And you all just happen to be part of the rad, rad, uh, <laughs> lab rat crew. Yeah. Great, Dr. fucking Frankenstein. Yes, Frankenstein, if you please, sir. Yeah, I'll give you a dollar if you stab <laughs> your leg with a scalpel. Uh, show me the My money. Grandpa. I got a knife. I got a knife. Show me the money. <laughs> you know what it would cost me to mail a dollar to Arkansas from Denmark? I don't know. <laughs> They'd probably steal it if you did anyways. I stole my seeds from it that my friend Asher sent me uh, from uh, England. Oh, did I ever tell you about the ingenious way that I learned to mail contraband through the mail system? How? What, what the... Uh, well, I I was friends with somebody in Scotland that did it, and she orders this stuff through the mail, and when it comes, it's in an envelope that's silver, and it claims it has uh, computer components inside. <laughs> Don't open the, the the light will destroy this piece. Oh really? Like that. Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah. Trick. Sen- sen- uh, light sensitive material, something t- with that kind of explanation. I mean, we used to, yeah, we used to get weed in the mail to her place Uh, from whatever it was on the Internet. So there must be some kind of, you know, postal laws are different than our laws. They got laws. They can't do certain things. If they're done a certain way, they've got to obey. And not obeying would be breaking their freaking law, their own law. It's way different than our law. Huh. Yeah, well, you know, like they case. could kill their own. They <laughs> shot Kennedy. That was his own people killing him, by his the way. His own fault, I tell you. He knew better. Government, well, it doesn't matter. The government is one entity as far as we're told. So if you work for the government, then there you go. So if you kill somebody while you're working as a government employee, and the person you kill is in the government... <laughs> People don't need to know that for about 50 years. Yes, you know. it's corporate Let's policy. Tell them a story. Corporate policy. Um, murders and acquisitions, some of them call it. Right? <laughs> uh, I mean, assassinations, yeah. Murders. Hey, did did you attract, attack Iran yet, Mr. Trump? <clears throat> no, but uh, uh, it, it'll be great. Very, very huge when we do. Big bombs, boom, boom. Love it, love it. Great Still folks over Syria. there. Great, great, great folks. Yes, yes. We we will have to kill them. Yes. Now, great. you do realize that this is just a big version of a chess game that we're we're witnessing it, and these people with big money move but battleships around and groups of human beings armed to the nipples, and they pay for them to go from here to there and do shit. And it's all and it's beautiful. This whole fucking thing is all done on credit. Credit's good, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, if you're gonna live, if you're gonna live, be alive, I suppose. Is that not how you get things? That's the only way to get things. The only way? Mm-hmm. You're scaring me. Well, you think about all the things that you want or you're taught you need—a house, a car, blah blah blah, right? And the very first thing is the price tags on those two things, brand new, are out of reach for the average guy. Can't do that. You could 50, 60 years ago, but you can't do it anymore. And they crowded too many people into too many places, and it backfired on them. It's all fucking shot out now. Shot it out. Oh, shot man, I've been reading about uh, white-based shot countries that have out. have growing Muslim populations within their borders and, and groups <laughs> trying to make Sharia law part of their law and all this other crap. So when you have that shit going on, that's not the people. That's the government doing all that shit. Well, causing Being it, told certainly. Yeah. By the bankers. Yeah. The, the bankers running all this shit. Man, you know how much easier and cheaper it will be to continue this war machine? If we don't have to actually go so far to do it, get them all over here. Let's mix it up. Give a little bit of time. Uh, 
feed a little of that and that and this and that over here and there and uh, put stuff into people's minds. Pretty soon, ha, we got it right here at home just like we had it worldwide. So enjoy the ride. Yeehaw. I don't want to. Strap in. You can't make me. Oh, you, you know, you're you're not the boss of me, mister. Well, I can do what I want. I'm out of control. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do, do people always do what you tell them? Well, if I tell them in the right way, I guess. Then that's not always, is it? Well, they would be like often or sometime yeah, yeah. or occasionally. It's like dancing, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, you're moving around together. You're touching, making contact. Oh, hmm. inappropriate. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I stepped on your foot. We'll hmm. try again. You know. Oh. It's teenagers yeah. dancing, right? Oh, I don't know what you mean, but okay. That kind of went by me at 100 miles an hour. Allegory. Hmm. Oh, start using more weird words. Great. I can make up words all day long, mister. I don't care. Did you know that frumped is now known as fumed? Yes, because I typo typoed his name. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I can't always see things very good. I think I, I called him fumed, though. Yeah, he said fumed. Froomed. I called him fumed. 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 Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hey, he he took the R out of it and Rob Warwick's honor, and now it's just fumed. I got a elixir from the wife. <laughs> yeah, ah. sir. Hey, that's good. Nothing tastes better than dork table elixir. I'm telling you. So, <laughs> dork said some Vinny things. She lacks brains, so we don't get along. Yeah. Vinny. Vinny. Who does? I don't know. You? Are you an idiot? Certainly. Is that your problem, boy? Are you a are you a fool amongst men? Do people uh, laugh at you when you come in the room? <laughs> I was being joking in the, uh, this morning. Oh man, what a breakfast! I, I mm. took uh, yeah, I took the makings for biscuits and gravy and went down uh, okay. yonder across all right, the field. All right, this ain't Facebook. All right, come we on. Had, hey, we had everybody all together eating biscuits and gravy. Oh, nice. Thank you, do in the Did hills. you think Kumbaya and grab a bunch of ball uh, hair, too? No, but I have made okay, this statement good. before. that it, I heard that stupid song. Who was playing it? That's I, one of I my gotta worst tell songs. You, Americans are frightening people when they drink in groups. I like to drink in gropes. See, I told you. <laughs> fucking weirdos. <laughs> I think everything belongs to you. <laughs> and they hold them bullies, girl. <laughs> You got two, just give me one, damn it. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> My logic system, it never fails me, it just fails everybody else. Anyway, this is kind of like doing a rerun about cowboys and idiots. Really? Yeah, in a way. Because yeah. I've done radio with you before, mister, and I know what you think about shit. Well, if I'm Benito Juarez, we need uh, must need a Spanish name for this. Then, so instead of uh, cowboys and idiots, we call it caballos and idiotas. No, then, nah, that no. Now you're even making up foreign words. I did not. Yeah, you did. Please <laughs> uh. prove it. <laughs> hey. I want to grow up and oh. become a city. Oh, I like the eyebrow action. <laughs> yeah. Dork. Yeah. 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 Eyebrow <laughs> action? What the fuck are you talking about? On the gifty thing. That he's oh. <laughs> Who? Mental? Yeah. Oh, uh, he's posting on our Okay, I see. Uh, wow. He's doing all kinds of crazy yeah, things. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> it feels like he's looking right at me, though. I'm kind of getting creeped out a little bit. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think I like it, though. I, <laughs> nah, I've got to so turn it funny. off. I can't. St- oh. Oh. The You're flash the rate, man. It. It, the flash rate, that flicker, I think it really got me. You're, yeah, but you're you're responsible for your own behavior. 
Do you I have to be? Do all this weird shit and then blame mental. Can't type. Yeah, let me tell you something, Vinny. Some of the time, you do weirder shit when you're alone than you ever do when you're with us. Really? <laughs> oh, like yesterday. Well, what did I do yesterday? Well, uh, okay. You're in the middle of the U.S., in a sense. Uh -huh. Centerville. Yeah. Right? You're Arkansas. Center of America. So your tastes are... They're not... Uh, vast and wide. They're very narrow. Yeah, I like because like of that. where you were raised. Didn't offer you a lot of choice. In the yeah, first you're place. way wrong there. I wasn't raised anywhere. I've been all over the country ever since I was a young well, kid. Yeah, but it's my lie. Let me fucking oh, tell it. Okay. God damn, you've ruined a good joke. All right, I'm sorry. I'm a no, dumb old hillbilly out here in Arkansas. No, I've you been plumbed to oh, Little Rock, a state yeah. capital by God near 80 miles from here. But yeah, you I'll dorked see. me from the very beginning of the show. What am I going to do with you, Vinny? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, well, anyway, so the way I figure it is still like this, right? Mm -hmm. Even though your uh, physical body wasn't in one spot, the input that went into you making up your mind was. There was only a few close people involved in your life when you were growing up. You can't be friendly with 800 people when you're six months old or eight years old. Or 10 years old. That might never even happen. I can't seem to deal with more than like three or four people around me at one time. And, f you know, function comfortably. It's too much when it's over four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> what? nine. What are you counting? I was Bumping. counting. I, I, was pontificating. I just had breakfast. We had biscuits and gravy. Oh, yeah, I could, yeah, we listen, were. I can eat good gravy. I could have, put it on gravel <laughs> and still eat it. I'm not kidding. But there was nine of us. Two two were children. One a baby and uh, another and their little boy. Uh, and then a grandma. Great grandma. Miss Pearl. Yeah, it's uh, that's just nine. That didn't even count the rest. They're like tomorrow, yeah, it will be full, full, full of friends and folks right there. That That's a great life. You know, you can have 2,000 friends on Facebook, but, yeah, you don't get to know them all personal. But me now, they, for instance, there's a lo very large number of my Facebook friends, not no 2,000 of them that I've met, but um, that I've met in person, to have personal contact with, I've met in my travels, or I know from years gone by, or um, new friends. That's the point of what I was saying, you bonehead. Mm -hmm. I'm agreeing. In you. your normal day, you don't very much meet up with too many people. No. Yeah, me particularly now in here in the hills, absolutely. And I was, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I got back to Arkansas one year ago yesterday. I saw it on my Whoa, Facebook. Whoa, was it? It's been a year already. One year. It flew, flew Holy by. Holy shit. Fast. Yeah. Well, you're getting older, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, somebody explained that. That's the whole that. point. You've seen more years. The older That's you weird. get, the more years you've seen, so they seem like they're quicker. Yeah. It's an illusion. It's a time illusion. They yeah. play mental games with us. Yeah. You, you explain that you know to how me. To tell, you know how to tell when you're feeling old? How? Yeah. You'll feel old. Mm. You'll feel it. It won't just be, oh, I look old because, hell, shit, I look <laughs> old. But I don't feel that way. Wow, there's uh, there's one fella here on the mountain. He's a few years younger than me, and I'd swear he, yeah. he was uh, way far my elder. Uh, another guy on, well, on Twitter. Come on, Vinny. Age is the state of mind. I've met miserable cunts when I was 10 years old. Yeah. Yeah, I got into a fight over that when I was like 12 with somebody. It says, you don't like me because I'm black. And I said, I don't like you because you're a fucking idiot. And then they, then he attacked me. The racism thing wasn't really that much out. It was starting to come out what uh, in response, kind of a blowback. Where, where it's coming to now. It was pushed now. on us because yeah. of all the damn uh, welfare and all that bullshit. It was part of the a plan. political decision to get the results they got. Yeah. Now, it's like if you're a Republican, then one of your targets to uh, ridicule and insult is the Democratic Party's welfare people. Well, it, what? And would the Republicans are just as fucking responsible for that existing as the Democrats are? It's just the Democrats were holding the seat at the time. So the people that really make all these decisions behind the fucking politicians, that these politicians don't do anything. 
They read scripts. It's bullshit. All of it. Nonsense. Very much. So. And if you didn't learn that through the going through the Bundy trial on you know with your own eyes to physically, is we all, that's what people lack to, to understand what people like Grimner and you you know Rob works. I know you and Rob clash, but you guys see the game the same fucking way. You guys know the truth about what's going on around you. You know, not around us, all that world global crap. It's the, the system that has your paperwork. They're the ones that control you. I'm in the in the middle of watching a video. It's a couple, two and a half hours long. A guy um, in, in, in courts, I don't know how it's going to turn out yet. A trespassing case, and he's trying to buck the system in there. And I'm going to pretty much venture to say that he doesn't come out on top in the end. Uh, I, I was called some of what would they say I was a dreamer or lived in a dream world or something. Um, but I where here? On yes, RLM or what? yes, in the RLM chat, dreamer or dreamland or dream world. Uh, I've, I mean, I've actually mean. gone and and put myself in front of these pl uh, people that sit in. Yeah, but Vinny, I, I say mean shit to you just because I can get away with it, uh, not because I, I give a fuck. It's I'll be picking at you because everybody else is. So I just jump on the pile and add some more shit to your sandwich. Yeah, I got friends like that, and that's cool. I know, you know, they say uh, love somebody for who they are. No, in spite of who they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, right. there's people who got flaws in their character, you know. <laughs> and we have to find, we have to yeah. find, well, how how do we come together, one, uh, one another together, by mm. this uh, grace of good, this, <laughs> this <Yeah>. state <laughs> of acceptance and... Uh, uh, is it almost a redemption, you might say, from one to yeah, another? Yeah, like forgiving the other fucker for what you're probably going to do yourself any damn way somewhere down the yeah. road or did. Uh -huh. So you understand it's just part of life. It's not a, It's not like a thing they're doing to you. That's just part of thing. It's part of the thing. Yeah. And well, we see it, you know, slower people like us because we're dill-witted. Me and you, Benny, we don't know much about life, but what we do have in common is traveling. See, so what that tells the guy that's never been at a bumblefuck, or he claims he's been at a bumblefuck, bumblefuck, but really never went anywhere. You know, went on vacation with his mom and dad. Oh yeah, that's traveling. <laughs> I'm a traveling you haven't man. traveled till you woke up in a rolled-up tarp on the side of the U.S. one. <laughs> Oh, I was close. <laughs> it was along the Arkansas River. Oh, right. Well, I like to drown that day I, too. I, I got stuck hitchhiking on the coast highway, and it just started to rain. So I decided I'm not going to hitchhike. I'm going to go find me some place to shelter. And I found this big, gigantic, rolled-up tarp. <laughs> so I just got a dry spot. I made a dry spot, rolled up in it for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Had the rain pounded on my, you know, on my, bo on my body. Could hear it on the tap 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 tap. <laughs> Did somebody I went to find sleep you in the next day? Yeah, wake up in the oh, morning. God. <laughs> wake up in the morning and, and uh, you know comb my hair a bit. Went to the road and caught a ride. Oh, I thought you was gonna but, say somebody came in like was gonna unroll the tarp there. <laughs> no, but I got a weird one. I was I was in Florida on I think I seventy five, going south to Miami, and I got somewhere around Saint Saint Augustine that air that part of the state, the center, below or Orlando, somewhere between there. Anyway, so uh, I got tired. I was on the road, and I decided I'd just crawl off, sleep under the tree, and catch a night's rest. And in the morning, I wake up, and there's these three freaking state troopers looking at me. I go, oh. what? Oh, uh, well, somebody saw you over here sleeping, and they thought you were a dead body and called you in. Oh, wow. So the cop says, oh, yeah, well, at least you're alive. So he goes, hey, get, you got to get in the car. We'll take you to the next off-ramp, but you can't be on the interstate. Uh -huh. That was the end of that. But it was just kind of amusing because I went to sleep, figured, ah, i just get, get a night's rest. And I wake up and there's cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of frightening when, when it happens. And they were so good-natured about it. You know, They thought they had found a dead body and it was just somebody, somebody sleeping. Back in the day when you did these things, the police weren't going to shoot you for doing it. They knew it was part of life. 
my friends that I went to Tulsa with, uh, we just had some bad weather here just a few days ago. But anyways, uh, she saw these uh, hitchhikers, and uh, then she seen them a little bit later anyway. So she decided to pick them up and brought them home. I guess they stayed a couple of days up there and sheltered for a little while. And uh, but my other friend, he says, and I put this together. He said, you know what I saw in Clinton? A couple of people out there with a sign, um, well, panhandling. Well, I, I said flagging, but uh, it's flying is the, the terminology for that. The people that go out there and hold signs, they call it flying. Uh, anyways, it, I, I figure it's, it had to have been the same people doing that they picked up and uh, brought home. And she was telling me a story because, you know, they traveled trains and hitchhiked and, you know, these lost kids that... Uh, that uh, well, they, even in their 20s and 30s, are still referred to as the kids. Uh, I, I'd like to see a good story on that. I, I'm going to be talking to them more. Maybe I can try to articulate one. But any, anyway, so she's hitchhiking, and they kicked her off the interstate. The yeah, cops did, and so she's going down the back roads. And a couple with uh, two young children uh, picked her up and brought her home, and uh, you know, she can get a bath and do laundry and. Um, it was Mother's Day, and so I fed her, and she stayed the night, and all that, and uh, then ended up taking her all the way where she was going, uh, which was about 45 miles or something further than what they were actually, where they were going anyways. So, pretty neat story, you know, how... How things in. used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back before we were all trained to, to be afraid of each other, like we are all going to be killers and psychos. That's what I mean. I when I was running around the you know the the West Coast when I was twelve, people were supposed to be out killing you and leaving you for dead and all this kind of crap. Well, that stuff did happen too. Well, apparently, and it was a but, lot easier. Uh, it's funny that for you know that all those years that I did run around California, Oregon, Washington, nothing happened to me. Why not? Yeah, it's probably was I too to ugly to, uh, uh, to assault? <laughs> Hmm. I was so ugly that the killers and rapists just let me go on by. <laughs> well, there's a, you know, that percentage or the numbers. But I imagine when it was much freer that people were um, hitchhiking more and more people were picking people up. I'm telling you, Vinny, from living through it, I'm a little bit older than you. Yeah. so I've done it. You, I've, across right, the but yeah. I was doing it in in the era that was... The hippie era just died, so there was still a lot of hippies. Mm -hmm. I was getting rides from people that were in VW vans and smoking damn weed, drinking wine, wine that they made herself, mm -hmm. all, all kinds of weird shit like that. You know the uh, the end of the seven, the end of the sixties into the seventies was really weird. The first five years of the seventies, they were really fucking weird Trans to me. Yeah. yeah. But, see, that's what everybody else says about from their time when they were 10 to 15 or so. You go, wow, it was fucking weird. <laughs> and I think our our societies have manipulated us into accepting the strange as normal, as a passage. No, you have to go through this and learn this shit. You know what? I don't want to fucking know that shit, so why don't you people please fuck off? And they kept arresting me and making me go back. <laughs> It was horrible, Vinny, I'm telling you. Terrible. Yeah, it lasted Terrible until I was uh, 13. Terrible yeah, I thought it was 12, but uh, I did the math and the years, and I did the the last evading my family thing in uh, 73. Hmm. So I was 13, not 12. But I did it when I was 12. I did it when I was 11. <laughs> but I quit when I was just before I turned 14. Four days. I got, I got caught in the end of the summer, like September, uh, being off without my parents. So they called that uh, run, run, run away from home or whatever they called it. And I ended up getting released back to the custody of my beloved folks on the 18th of September. I remember the days... For, I, I, I'm not going to go into the reasons I do, but I do. And after that, there was never again a problem with me um, running off from the house to evade the problem. The problems got solved. Hmm. Well, some people are stubborn, and they think that the, the harder you smack a tool, the better it works. Get a bigger hammer. Right. Well, and 
my father kind of created this monster of his own. You know, being mean to me just made me more uh, difficult to control rather than more easily controlled. Nobody could fucking tell me to do shit. When I was a kid, it was very terrible. <laughs> Had a terrible reputation, too, to go with it. But it was cool because I thought it was like, wow, you know, little tiny me and you think all that? <laughs> huh. hmm. What? No, I'm just, yeah. Well, we all have our own personal, you know, years that we grew up where other people that we know now didn't know us. But the things that happen when you're a kid make you what you are as an adult. They do. We I, yeah, I can use my stubbornness as a weapon on anybody except... uh the unwilling. If you're not willing to participate, then there's no fight. Like Hansel, there's no fight there because I don't give a shit one way or the other. Hey, there's. Let's uh, let me give a little what? short story here. This is uh, in what? honor of Damn Don on our way to Florida. Um, oh yeah, Donna's going. Yeah, I forgot to mention it. Hey, yeah, she'll probably listen, <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe. If she does, good good thing to mention to mention it. Well, here from Cynthia McKinney, she says, Hey, Mr. President, where's our high-speed, uh, magnetically levitated trains connecting cities across the USA? And I said, uh, instead, we have an old gray dog to ride about on and be abused. Greyhound sucks. Yeah. So, she's telling the same story that I've told several times in thousands upon thousands have tell, told how Greyhound sucks. They leave you stranded and waiting and trying to get a next bus and then, oh man. Yeah, I think, I, oh yeah, on my arrival home yesterday, on my memory that I shared from getting back home to Arkansas, right here it says, uh, let me get, <coughs> scroll here, <coughs> Uh, after almost a year and a half traveling around the country, I'm back in Arkansas with Texas across the river behind me. Thanks to the gray dog, the last leg of the journey has an extra, get this, 24 hours added to a 13-hour ride. It took me almost 40 hours to get home from uh, Abilene. How many miles? Well, how many miles? is it? It's a 13-hour trip. And less than that if you're driving in a uh, your own vehicle. So yeah, right. it's uh it's uh from Little Rock to Fort Worth it's uh about um uh three hundred and fifty miles and then okay. five, it's and somewhere about five hundred odd miles, six hundred miles. If you had to if you had to walk with a backpack. Oh, it's like a long time. Well, if you could if you're strong you could do fifteen, twenty miles a day if you're consistent. Hold on, I gotta look it up. Take a lot of strength, though. You'd have to be very focused and fit and healthy. But it could be done. I mean, I don't see why not. People do it. There's a couple I read about. Cirque sent me this link about this outdoors couple. And the guys in my age, I'm always a little younger than me, but the girl's 27 or something. Yeah, he's 30 years older than her. And they've been together for a while, but uh, they're outside people. And the way she started it was she had a bad case of dandruff and cured it with her pee. Mm. And it turned her and it turned her on to, hey, natural remedy might suck, but damn it works. Yeah, I remember and, you read that. Right, right. And I brought that up because now we have all these chemicals that smell good and you know wow, it's so you know, it's not disgusting to go through cleaning something because you got these soaps with these synthetic shit fucking chemicals that you don't know what they do. All you know is that the FDA and the CDC says they're not they're not going to hurt you. So that tells me right off the gate that they're probably going to fuck you up. Mm. Okay, when it's got when it's got government approval for the public to use it, don't use it. Yeah. When it the government says don't use it <clears throat> like <clears throat> cannabis, well, mm -hmm. and then you find out in your 50s, you know, in the society that you live in, not that you didn't know, but the society around you that grew up calling you names because, hey, you're that weirdo that smokes that pot. And then 
here we are all these years later, and now people, new discoveries indicate, well, look, we were wrong. <laughs> no, not really. <clears throat> you don't buy that new discovery crap, do you? No. Experts say, best science, nah. Okay, what? it is 7 hours and 14 minute drive time from Little Rock to Abilene. It's 499.1 miles. And I'm about 80 miles from Little Rock, so, yeah, almost 600 miles. Okay, and at 20 miles a day, if you could pull it off with a back, you know, backpack, that would still be a month. It's a good walk. What about on a horse? You could make 20 miles walking on foot's a long way. It's 35 miles on a horse. Used to be doing some traveling. Well, I don't know. Do they... Horses seem to get tired pretty quick when they run, so... Hmm. You don't riding run. one they they're bigger and all that but then you got to feed them and water them and take care of them and, and in the long run grass. it's like having a car you know it's just a big pain in the ass you get there quicker but it's a lot more work doing that than it is not doing that i grew up with horses riding i rode a horse long before i rode a bicycle i yeah i would but there are it's, it's the maintenance and updates. You don't like think that horse. maintaining a horse in a proper fashion that's good for the horse, not just good for the person riding the fucking horse. Oh, there's enough grass out here. I could raise a horse out here. No well, problem. how I mean is, you, if you're not nice and kind to your animal, your animal will know it. Yeah. So that means that the person that's maintaining the animal has to be treating it like it matters. Well, unless they, they're the old lot of school, work, they Vinny. beat them. That's they, what I mean. Yeah, it's like Hannah. Hannah point. is the most spoiled fucking dog. Okay, but I play games with her that are kind of cruel, and sometimes I do things without thinking. And today, what I did was I knocked on my wood table desk thing, and it makes a certain pitch of a, a sound that puts her in defense mode. Puts her in defense mode. Yeah, she jumps up, and she's ready to take on whatever intruder just came and invaded her space to protect Cirque. Mm hmm Yeah, and she didn't bark or anything. She just came forward, and she had this, you know, that prowling stance where she's looking for the the, in, the intruder. So she <laughs> learned spot. English? Huh? She learned English? No, no, she she's a dog. She responded to me knocking on the fucking table, you bonehead. What don't you get? No, no, no. I mean when you first got there. Oh, the dog's bilingual. Yeah. Cirque talks to her in English and Danish. Uh -huh. I talk to her only in English. Yeah, that, that makes sense. She was teaching her this one trick with a, uh, with a treat, and she would point at it and say, don't eat it, it's German. <laughs> 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 so, uh, remember that? <laughs> And, and the dog would not touch it until she said, what did you say to Then she'd say, it's Danish, and then the dog would eat it. <laughs> it was hysterical. <laughs> yeah, my, my racist wife has a sense of humor. Yeah. Fast. <laughs> well, you know, because we're all racist when we talk, when we speak to other people. You know, how it is heard by other people makes what you say racist. Okay. You know what I mean or not? Yeah, it's like the Because you could say nigger, 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 nigger all fucking day, and I don't give a flying shit, and I know what the word really means. It's got nothing to do with a color. No. And if you think that way, that's not my problem. That's, that's right. you. So what what control that other people have over what I say out loud, that's the part that bothers me. I have a friend said uh, here sometime back here, he says, uh, and in public, it's, they're not going to work me like a nigger. And yeah, like, you were telling me. Yeah, yeah and <laughs> so it's like pause and he like looked around. Uh, because in this day and age, I mean, what what the, what does it really mean? It's just like you know, it's not gonna, a, come on, Vinny. It's, it's not the, a racist the point statement. Is, look at how that soft. Look at how soft and weak and fucking frail the the public is. Bunch of sissies. Yeah, they get fucking. Upset over being called him or her, depending on how they look on the it's a fucking joke. And if you if you want to participate in that kind of lifestyle, then don't complain about it. You're choosing it. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of other places to live where people don't act stupid like that. Just find one. They are there. I have found one. Yeah. The, 
You know, to insist upon people refrain from using words or terminology or discussing ideas, uh, even if they're wacko, crazy ideas, um, those are the ones you really want to encourage people to keep talking, keep keep them talking, because well, yeah. what do they do? Yeah. They make themselves to yeah. be the bigger idiot, all right? So I've had to you, but only, uh, see, Vinny, that's what I mean. Is the whole thing is overrated and overblown? The importance of it all, it, it doesn't fucking matter. Nothing matters. It, nothing, nothing at all matters. really fucking matters except for the, whoever is involved in it. Everybody else is just either hearing or reading or seeing a video, but they don't have any play in that fucking activity, and it's over. So we spend all our present time looking at what happened in the past. Or some people want a spaceship to go to the fucking outer space, so they're spending all their present time worried about the future. And it's really fucking hard to spend your present time in the present. That's why I like to be in the present. Does, does alcohol slow you down enough to be in the present, or does it make it harder? What do you mean? Alcohol? How? What? You drank the other night. You're all yeah. bragging about fighting with somebody and shit. Oh, we do bully. that all the time. Yeah, no. Or, all the time. Young now friends. it's okay now. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just part you of life. You big bully. That's part of life. Saying. They're bigger than I am. Yeah, but does drinking slow you down enough to see that shit that way? Well, I normally don't. If you weren't drinking, drunk. would you behave the same way? I hope so. Uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, because I'm a, I'm a cut up. Yeah. Well, it's hard I, to be around other people that are drinking and then not drink. Yeah, I know. So uh, I'll limit who I allow to get drunk around me, for sure. When I do it, it always raises, like, people look at me funny. Even here in Denmark. Yeah, Someday, well, that, well, uh, uh, yeah, or that you get invited day, to a party or something like that. I didn't beat the guy up. I just laughed at him when he fell on, like, a tree on his face. Yeah, because, Ooh, yeah, he was getting, says, getting how nihilistic of, of you, Flash. And I said something, but I don't remember what it was <laughs> now. Because <laughs> we're doing the dork table. Nothing, but I was I was being nihilistic. Top that, fucker. Because my indoctrination will kick the shit out of your indoctrination any day of the week. Hey, I mean, do, is this right, not have you listening? figured out? Wait, have you figured out how stupid it is for us? people to disagree and take it serious yet do you see the stupidity of the behavior and you call me stupid yeah i thought so of course you <laughs> me every it's it's not our fault it's the way we've been uh trained to respond to shit that's fucked up you know somebody that doesn't know to punch you in the fucking nose would probably never think of it you know, there are nonviolent people that didn't grow up getting slapped around by bigger people. Yeah, I don't like people who use violence against me in any uh, okay. form or fashion. And the, the nonviolent people that don't know violence make me feel uncomfortable because they're so fucking innocent. And, <laughs> and they get this such a stupid look on their face when you beep them in the box. Yeah, pretty much. If you, yeah, they will, them you in the beat. Snap a newspaper <laughs> in your hand and they'll piss their pants. Think oh. it's gunfire. <laughs> Sometimes things like that happen. You know, slap a newspaper on a, on a wood table as hard as you can, and some idiot will duck thinking it's a shotgun. <laughs> duck shotgun. <laughs> you know what I got? I'm, I'm being funny because I I think the gun pussies are are growing. You know what I got? I got a. Hey, I, got I just a, said I think the, I'm making a, a statement here, Mister. The gun pussy group is growing, bigger. More gun pussies are getting more guns. Really? Yeah, I think so. I don't know yeah. about that. Yeah, but legally, see, there's legally and there's illegally, and some people don't give a freaking flying squat one way or the other about your legal legally. And if they want a gun, they're going to have a gun. Now, I'm one of the people that would be that way. In any case there is, if I want it, I'll get it. But for some reason, I don't have a love for guns. Don't get it. But I know if I had one, I'd, I wonder if I shot you in the knee. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> so, you know. I think you're going to go out on boat. 
Yeah, who's going to, I'm going to go out and vote. No, I think my friends are going to go out on the vote, uh, uh, not to vote, on a boat. Boat, boat. On the lake. Yeah. Whatever, you said boat, and I was thinking about, they're voting here in Denmark. I saw so them go by in a buggy. They got their posters up, so I got to see their smiley faces when I go by. Because they want me to vote for them, so they can rule me. Do you know how many miles I, I can go out here, back roads? What? Touching a little asphalt every now and then, but forever and ever. Wait, do a what a little light? What? Where I live, I could go. Yeah, yeah, off road. Oh, off road. Yeah, for a long. Yeah, there's like forever. And do what? Run around the country. Go across the river. Go down. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever done this with you on the dork table or not, but there is such an abundance of land on this planet. It is amazing how easily. Bullshitted people are into believing there's not enough. You said easily? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like you, but nugget only <laughs> easily. Well, listen, you know, yeah, they uh, try to say the world's overpopulated, but it's purposely no, it's mismanaged. Yeah. Now, it's, somebody said something just the other day, and they said that they think everybody should be allowed a, their own piece of land, but then I think, well, how, where does that land come from? And a lot of land is not. Uh, uh, you know, like a lot of desert land, there's, you're not going to eat sagebrush, right? So what can you do? If you improve the land, see, like you bring improvements, you develop the land, you bring forth stuff from the land and create wealth, then, well, how does the world work today? And the government, now they're stripping that all away. Oh, the, the cows are bad and the miners are bad. Well, so these big mining outfits, these huge things that, are, that dump crap into the rivers that like in Spokane uh, yeah terribly bad you know they, who gets away with it the people in the big corporations and paying the monies and bringing the people to power to support them and then paying off the fines because it's just good business and uh, then a little guy he had a oh maybe a bad spark plug and he's blowing out a little smoke out his tailpipe down in California and well they'll snatch him up and uh, demand a uh, bounty his uh, release, right? Bounty. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that kind of concept earlier with bail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I, people are so see if they didn't want to play the game, the bail game, they don't have to, and it would go away. But they don't know that. It's and as long as there's swim. enough people with money, you know, doing the stupid shit they do. And going through the process, it'll keep the poor people in it too. You know, because there's white white collar crime up the wazoo, yeah. and most of them are you know they can pay, pay off people and do this and avoid it and then get away from it. And every once in a while, somebody gets really stupid, so they hand them over. And it's a game. There's no reality to it. It's a sink or swim. Then if you don't keep bailing, you no, know, be right. Be on the right fucking team, sport. If you're not with us, you're against us. Like being uh, us is. like back when with the '80s, there when uh, you could be white and sniff white and be black <laughs> and smoke white, but uh, you're going to prison for a lot longer. I don't know. Maybe. So I don't know. I don't. I'm I'm white skin colored, so I've never been. I thought uh, you was a Jew. How can you yeah, be well, white and my a mother's Jew? Jewish? My mom, my mom was oh, Jewish. So, so she was. Was she a fucking, was she a dark race Semitic looking? No, 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 no. She's right. very pale. She's English. English. Uh, her her mom English escaped Jews. Russia or Russian some fucking. I, my grandmother on my mom's side came from Russia. Yeah. They escaped sometime so, during World War One and ended up in uh, England. So were their grandparents brown? I don't remember. Right. I, Were they Semitic? Because how that. I'm still trying to figure this anti-Semitic thing out there and being well, white. What, what it don't it make is, sense if you're anti-Palestinian or a uh, Philistine. You're being bullshitted. No, you're being bullshitted by the best liars on the planet. You sure? What you're, yeah, positive of it. Because you're picking on the chosen people when you talk bad about us. And I think, are is you there, fucking insane? Is there gonna? Am I gonna need some bail or well? I don't know or... what you're going to need, but if you play that freaking religion bullshit game, these are the concepts that you plan your life around. 
Jews are wonderful because they're the ch fuck you. They're, the whole all this crap is about all these fucking wars. Arabs don't do um, usury banking, the interest rate thing. You're confusing they, the terminology you see, when you say Arabs. That's not a right usage. Of okay, words. so the fucking right, you know what I'm fucking talking about. Don't act, well, they're don't not, act crazy. Yeah. Ara the Arabs are actually uh, cohorts. When, uh, hey, when I was a kid and old uh, Hank Kissinger was over there in the Middle East, we referred to them as the Arabs and the Jews. Yeah. Now, I don't know how anything could have fucking changed from then to now to make that different. Well, they say that the Palestinians are actually uh, Arab descent and not, uh, they're, they're they not probably, a Palestinian. But then you got the name Philistine, which is oh, directly tied to the But it's a land grab disguised as a religious war, yeah. and, and, it's, and it's agreed upon. This whole illusion is agreed upon by these certain people that have religious positions. And then they get followers, and morons follow them into wealth and power. <laughs> it's stupid. I don't get the fucking allure of following, like Trump. What the fuck? Are you kidding? I wouldn't follow that guy into the bathroom. I'd be afraid. Oh, he might put me in a stall and keep me a prisoner. Help, help. I'm being yeah, molested. Me. <laughs> wow. He looks like a creepy old child molester, that fucking guy. And he's Joe, huge. He's good like, old he's, Uncle he's Joe. A, a big man. Fuck Ugh, Trump. Pass pass through. You know. And it's not and it's not like uh Grimner's a big guy, but he's got a beard and shit. He looks normal. That Trump guy looks like something out of a freaking fake magazine, you know, with a suit and shiny shoes. Who the fuck lives like that? <laughs> Who'd want to? Have you ever worn a fucking suit? It's kind of a drag, really. I don't like it. I have the, the materials are comfortable and they're well made oh, and no, you know they're wow. costly and but fuck in the long run, it's sure a lot more comfortable to be in a twelve dollar t shirt and a pair of jeans. You pay twelve dollars <laughs> for t shirts? I, I don't know. Fucking prices. Give me a break. <laughs> prices schmices. Twelve a right. hundred dollars. I don't comfortable. You know, compared to the price of a suit. And even when I wear a fucking suit, that was a while ago. They're not my favorite piece of equipment, if you know what I mean, my friend. Hey, did did you know I just opened up a link that says flash floods submerged 90% of Iran, displaced 500,000 people. Posted by T.O. Blaskovic on May 24th, 2019. Pulled it off the uh, RLM. Cool. It says, uh, there's a recent flood disaster in Iran. Ooh. 90% of land submerged? Ah, this has got to be some kind of prank or something. Oh, wait, there's a video. <laughs> Never mind. Who posted that? Sorry about that. It was a dork interruption for no fucking reason, Benny. Oh, well. Hey. I, my mind got hijacked by a new concept. <laughs> I've, uh, Grimner's making fun of me. Stop it, mister. <laughs> hey, I've got something. We, I was talking to you about that early this morning when I'd woken. Uh, a new yeah. word here that's uh, now in the mainstream. It's right here on the Weather Channel. Uh, well, Weather Report, I believe. Yep, Sacramento. Sac the Sacred Tomato, uh, Sacramento. Uh, it says, Homogenetus cirrus clouds. And I went to look that up. Because, hey, you know, it ain't like people are spoofy, right? But as uh, homo is uh, man, genetis, uh, genetis is uh, to made. So man-made cirrus is the clouds. Man-made clouds right there. Uh, I believe I clicked on that. Yes, uh, Hal Anthony. He's, he uh, put it on the wire. Uh-huh. I'm going to. No, I'm going to put it over here into the chat. Uh, well, I'm saying earlier, you put it on the wire. Right? Yeah, You're yeah, talking yeah. about that, right? Yeah, right, yeah. That's when I sent you. Uh -huh. hmm. yeah. There it is. I'll put it in chat. Coming down you know right. who else is a fan of putting these freaking chemtrail people down? Who? Our pal Pancakes. What? Pancakes don't like the chemtrail wars. He wants them to stop doing it. I, I don't want them to stop because... You don't uh, want them to stop? No, oh, no. Good. No, no, no. Great. Today, see, I, I was talking about this when I went down. I remember I told you I went and had biscuits and gravy this morning. Yeah, so. four times, Vinny. What do you think? I'm retarded? 
<laughs> so Tell my friend, I say to her, I, I say, Amber, come here. And I point up to the sky. I said, see, right there they are, man-made clouds. And you know, there was a time that so many people, I would say, hey, look at how them planes made them clouds. Are you stupid? Planes didn't make them. And it's like, do you ever look up? Yes, they did. But my question is, I mean, what would happen if they quit making them? They're making them now for a reason. I mean, you just don't go putting the lines in the sky for no good reason, right? What kind of That's crazy business is that? Get, but we were also told that uh, they went to the moon, that Oswald shot Kennedy, and that life was all about um, life, per, the pursuit of happiness, life and liberty. That's everything. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Go have fun. Can, can I be honest with you about something? No. Why don't you fucking lie to me like a Republican candidate? <laughs> Somebody call me crazy because I said that I yeah. was a scientist. Now, wait a minute. Did I take um, instrumentations and all that? It, it's a scientific observation, not also a method of science to, to look uh, and make yeah. comparison and go and look at other research and how this comes about by that. So that's a scientific process. Can I call myself a scientist? Do I need to change my care. neck? What do you think of that? A Vinny, Vinny scientific or something? Don't, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't give a shit. You could call yourself a god for all I care. I'm, uh, that's I'm, what I'm trying to tell you. You know, That's the radio thing. I am the god of to, fire. To my get friend. my side of the way I see all this crap. We're all being fucked in the long run because it's not real. If it was real, it would be good. This is just chaotic fucking uh, stupidity at large. We're being fucked in the ass by everybody all at the same time. So why do you think they're spraying these making lines in the sky and making? Because they, I mean, they don't all just you know stay lines and sometimes I, they. I was trying to rant clouds. about why I thought about it. But well, let me ask you specifically. It didn't cross hold on. over to you. So these clouds also sometimes just disperse and white does a white eye white out on the sky, which uh, <laughs> you know, and it causes uh, solar radiation to bounce back into space that would otherwise come to the Earth, right? I mean, would you concur with that? I would say that sounds like an explanation with the information we've been given to understand what this is about. That would be logical, reasonable, uh, makes sense. But how how you come to that decision is still guided by the freaking information that you were given. Okay, so... See, now, wait. I'm not as difficult as you. I go, hey, if it went up into the sky off of the ground and it didn't come back, I don't want it. What if it comes back a little at a time? I, the, my, yeah, that, my logical mind, whatever the fuck that means, the way I, how I interpret things to balance says if it's not in the sky and it's coming down, that's one thing. But if it's on the ground and you put it up in the sky and it doesn't come back, what the fuck are you doing? All right, well, let's say here if uh, they are putting you don't, it do up Do you understand there. my explanation? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. But I, I'm going to have to reposition okay. you too. Uh, Use to... fertilizer as, an, as another example. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're putting something extra into the atmosphere... Why? I don't, right. but Let me back up. With I'm you. against it. Okay, wait a minute now. What? I think what? I think that I'm going to convince you that chemtrails are good for you. All right. So bear with me. Wow, you're insane. Yes, bear with me now because yeah, I want. I'm bearing. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, I, I, I want to be the pioneer in the uh, alternative media that uh, is pro contrail or chemtrail. Yes. Go go geoengineering. Well, do a superhero guy like that, right? Of course, you know I'm funning with you. Um, no, okay, so they're making this thing up here in the air, and then things is going on, and there's effect in, from the cause. So why are they doing it? And what happens if they are not doing it? I mean, there's some things well, okay, so, that right, are so measurable. Be, right, Climate here we change. Go. Yeah, but you're going to give me the other end of it. It's just the opposite story to why they're doing it. It's not going to change my okay. mind. Listen, if they stopped Continue. doing it and the whole world burned up from the sun, just started How would cooking. I know it if the whole fucking world burns up? I'm burnt up. Well, no, I mean it wouldn't do it all at one minute. 
then the whole world didn't burn up. What do you say? It would. It would be like being Restructure baked. Restructure your sentence at okay. once, mister. Thank you. Yes, sir, I will. <laughs> if the whole world was being suddenly... You keep saying whole world, but not all of it. Hey, listen, mister, I don't care if you think it's flat or round. The sun gets touched. It's effect upon the earth everywhere. All right. So what if it was yeah. so hot? Yeah. Because there wasn't enough clouds up there. Why? I, what yeah. happened to the other clouds? Well, I mean, what all yeah. have they been doing up there in the co in the skies to cause damage? Is it from the uh, CFCs? Is it from the airplanes spitting out stuff? And now they say, well, maybe we can spit more stuff out and fix what we messed up. Mm -hmm. Was it the nuclear yeah. uh, test explosion in the upper atmosphere? What were they trying to bring down the dome? I don't uh -huh. know what. What's happened? You, why have okay, they done but, it? And what is the result? And why are they doing it now? Because uh, <laughs> the I, I, result is so that you'll talk about that. You think? Mm -hmm. No, you, they're yeah. not going to spend all that effort of putting stuff up in the sky uh, for people Benny, to please, talk but, about but, it. Right, right, right. But what you're doing is like you're, the comparison I'm seeing is I'm on this big, great big boat out in the ocean, like the size of like uh, the Queen Elizabeth. One of those big old freaking boats. And it's got a big hole in the bottom, and it's fucking leaking. So my first act is to I'm going to investigate who made the leak in the boat. See, that's, that's what I'm see, saying. That, wait, wait a minute. That's, <laughs> how, that's how I see what you're doing. Is You're more interested in who did what than what do we do about what we're in. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, then I'm we, lost. We correct, are, correct me, sir. Okay, remember what you're saying, the past and the future, then, you know, there's few of us that live where we're actually at. So, we can't go back in the past and wish that whatever they did was undone, because that's not going to happen, because obviously we're here now in the present, and that's what we got. So, to go into the future, moving forward, well, I mean, if we just stopped what is happening right now, let's say, what would happen then? Is there a, what? What is the reason that are putting them up there? There's this reason. So uh, Let's see. All right. maybe and they I've screwed said, things right. up so badly that the yeah. Earth is in great peril, and this is their their best cheapest uh, okay. fix. So this is the maybe. I do you know, maybe fear porn story. Then yeah, why didn't well, you say the world? The I world told you I was going to be a pioneer, Mister. I'm a pioneer. No, Vinny, you're just <laughs> being a war. You're being a like a like a warmonger on the door no, table. No, I I want peace. It, it, no, you it don't. Spells, if you wanted, Vinny, if you wanted Vinny peace, you wouldn't war. say crazy shit like you just said. Vinny to war is. I mean, <laughs> Vinito war is, por favor. All right. Well, my it's my Italian opinion about basket. this is the the fucking nerve that people have in the first place to make assumptions about the future that the other folk don't, for one, have the interest, knowledge, uh, experience with. So that they're telling masses of people as some kind of authority figure, this is what is so. And, I mean, what are we, like 10% of the population that tells these fuckers, oh, please, <laughs> will you put a fucking rag in it and set it on fire already? I'm sick of your bullshit. And then you get, you know, the other 90% that, well, they'd rather not uh, create a disturbance. Oh, I'd like to. No, you don't, or you wouldn't live in fucking bumblefuck, you big baby. Well, what do you mean? Why what do would I, I mean? You'd be right in the fuck. You'd go to, you should go to Washington. Here, this is how I see I'm it. not going to Washington. go to Washington. And I look like Mr. Million. Smith. Let me finish. The <laughs> Vinny, Vinny the leader, he's going to go to Washington and start a march on the Senate. And the Senate is going to smoke a hookah until they can tell the truth, and then they're going to write their laws. Listen, mister, <laughs> I want to give you some uh, ancient what? wisdom. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you can get this right. In Las Vegas, it's common knowledge. Yeah. The oh, house, here we go. The house always wins. Doesn't matter. Uh, there you go. See, that doesn't matter what the individual thinking thing is. It, what matters is the support that you physically give this entity thing. You know, like every dollar that you don't spend on Israel's um, avocados is a dollar that hurts them because they were counting on that freaking fiat. That's how they control us, through money. They got more foreign in investment than anybody does. There's not much the Jews don't have, a you know, the tip of a dick in somewhere. Donna! 
And, you know, people seem to like being, you know, on the Jukok. wonder what that's about. Renee. I'd personally be insulted if that was me oh. and I wasn't one of them. Oh, you know what I and saw yesterday? Somebody said to me oh, that, hey, freaking me out. you loving that Jukok, aren't you? Stop you it. Know, what? What? Do you know that they have bull penises that they give to dog for as dog snacks? You can buy them wow. by the bag full. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Dogs. Oh. Dogs don't eat anything. Dogs oh. sniff each other's asses as a hello, remember? Oh. Yeah. I'm sure glad we don't have to do that. That would yeah. be kind of disgusting. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you know what? I was very glad to, to find out that they were actually taking them things and putting them separate in, all by themselves. So, you know, you know what you actually got right there instead of them actually being in the hot dogs. Mm. Think about it. No, I don't. I don't. I try to avoid food like that. Man, you're missing all the good stuff. Kill See, you there you go. Missing on 59 <laughs> fucking years old. I've eaten stuff you've still yet to run into. It's The point mm. is I'm comfortable at this point with certain things a certain way. I'm not exploring the world anymore, Vinny. I found what I like. That's what uh, mm. younger people don't understand. It sounds certain like you get it. Come, uh, what, what, you've become comfortable with your gen. What do I call you, Mr. Gender? Your sexuality. I don't know. I'm, your I'm comfortable now. Do what I do have to? Of, do we have to go past the gender and into maybe the possibility that we see ourselves beyond the uh, terrestrial? Can can we no, identify? No, I don't. I don't could think. I not maybe say the, I identify as an angel? Well, see, maybe the the internet crew group might, but uh, the regular Joe that. You know, doesn't in, engage in anything intellectual at all. He, even just a conversation. They're just game players and followers. Well, I think I'd, that'd qualify. If you could identify as an angel, you could qualify for tax exempt C103. See, there you go with your jokes, you weirdo. <laughs> you should see. I don't believe in any of that crap in the first place because it's got legal ties to it. So it makes it to me, it makes it exempt then it's not real. It's another fiction made up by people to control other people. Because people love to be controlled by other people. Don't get what that's about. They don't want to be responsible and just take the shit, you know, for what they fucking do. They're more concerned about doing to other people and punishments and this horrible thing's going on 10,000 miles away. Look at that. Well, fuck, who cares about any of that shit? What's going on in your living room, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Because people's lives are so boring. They just won't accept it. They don't want to know that. They want to talk big deal. You know. But truth is, life is like 90% boredom and 10% uh, excitement, maybe, if you're lucky. We. Oui. Well, okay, think about it. On New Year's Eve, you're, you're waiting for the big hoopla at midnight where all the people make noise. So what about all that time that you spend between? For that, where does that go? You know, what did you get out of that? Is it all about the the bangs and the fire, you know, the colors in the sky and shit? What what is this? We? I don't know. It gets people's attention every fucking year, and they do uh, fire explosion rockets and color rockets and all that shit in the sky. And I think that it's such a waste of fucking genius that it pisses me off. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you this. When I, ever since I was little, I'd like to play tricks on folks. And I would sometimes just stop on the sidewalk and stand and look up at the air, up in the sky. And people would stop and they'd look up there trying to figure out what you're looking at. But, you know, if you do that today, you actually, it's not even a joke. People will be like, what are you looking at? All them lines in the sky, what do you make of them? You ever do that? No, because they speak Danish here. Well, you where am I going to learn? There. What's the point of that anyway? To bring a negative to people? No, I'm a guest. I can't do that here. Well, I'll just say it. When I say you, I'll say you as in the everybody else. Well, right, but I can do it on the radio. But in person, here they do so little of it where we're at. But maybe monthly they they spray something up there. And I would figure it's probably the aluminums, you know, for us to inhale so we're more uh, conductive to the Wi-Fi and the shit that they're putting out. You ever, can you say aluminum like uh, 
Grammy, Grammy Mary a- says. Aluminium? No, like Grammy Mary says. I don't know what how. Aluminium. No, that's not how you say it. That's how, that's how she says, says it. Yes. I mean, should, I, well, why should would I want to mispronounce a word on purpose for that somebody else does? Because but, okay. it's fun. Uh, that's why. Have you you've definitely bumped your head one more time? Not, anyway, not lately, not very hard. Anyway, I think we should just take over this fucking world, start a cult. Ooh, that Maybe video you sent me. I yeah. bet I could convince Circa a life in a a. a Nice beach house in the Bahamas would be a nice way to go out. <laughs> I think the Bahamas are probably too expensive. Oh, probably nah, like we'll, we'll, uh, we'll South pl- Pacific. No, nah, let's steal plenty of money like the politicians. We'll get donations. Hmm. We'll just register it properly so it's all tax exempt and you know clear and free. You can steal right in front of everybody <laughs> as long as you follow the freaking rules. Hey, that link you sent me, mm-hmm. you talking about following the rules. They <laughs> they were gonna arrest a couple of those guys, the uh, um, uh, uh, First Amendment audit people, mm-hmm. uh, and so yeah, they cuffed them and everything mm-hmm. for yeah. putting his foot in the street, yeah, the pedestrian right. in the ro- uh, roadway. Right, that's and how so, desperate they are to, to control it. Well, some yeah, so any it was infraction proposed. of their fucking stupid Christ, anybody can put a foot off the curb and and. Step in the street on accidents, human. Well, the guy that did the video, the one that you sent me, he says, "Is it time to uh, have militia escort these? Uh, uh, these are public uh, servants. These people that are doing First Amendment. I don't do it the way they do it, but you know what? I fully support the way they do it because it is so important. They are taking it to the very core of the matter of the uh, what, what are supposed to be constitutionally protected." rights they're they're self-evident and it's just like a contract to the government people that are going to be employees of this corporation body to abide by it has no effect on the individual as so long as they're not uh, in contrary to another's right and all those rights are encompassed and described within the bill of rights that yeah thrown it out the window obviously they're like a gang well, uh, mm. Vegas po- uh, police is notoriously corrupt for a long, long time. They have a new face and image over the last, you know, couple few decades here. Uh, supposedly the mobsters are all kicked out and stuff. And, you know, they they just changed the suits. They they quit wearing pinstripes. All right, uh, but the the gangsters are still in suits and ties and badges. The other ones they're not wearing ties. You know, cops mm. used to wear ties. Yeah, long time ago. But you know what? But the ties the whole stupid. game shifted, though. Yeah. I don't know what year they wrote it, but the Supreme Court decided that the police do not have a duty to protect you, whoever you are. They they protect you at their discretion if they feel like it or not. I was listening so to that one gave cop. Them, that way, let me finish right. my rant. Right. Man. Sorry, go ahead. So that gave them the, the opposite, too. When they're, they All they got to do is claim they're in fear for their life. No matter what the circumstance, and blame it on that. Oh, they turned the light on and I got scared and shot them. Okay. Next. Okay, I was just making my point of opposites there, mister. Yeah. 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 Well, hey, Because, you know, they so, weren't both sides of the street on us. So what about that? I mean, because... Uh, well, it's early okay with the voter. That's what about that. The fucking people that claim to vote and support this shit... Don't have to deal with that end of the thing. They think that's for other people. Well, we're in the press Until they, now, so there are people voting, and they are people that are uh, rationalizing uh, all this. But in the meantime, you know, people are what? The, obviously, retaliation. You know, these cops mm-hmm. out there, they're getting tired of being videoed and always have to be looking at their back. Because <laughs> yeah. they're used Watching to doing things their rules. own way. Now, listen, my cousin, he's a detective there in Vegas. He made detective. And it's policy in Vegas that cops don't pay for anything and and so there's a great many of them go to very nice uh, hotels to the very finest dining uh, concerts and shows and uh, all you need is a badge in Vegas and you it's the key to the city you are in now my cousin he has held policy from the beginning is he won't accept anything nothing he won't take a free cup of coffee uh, which I think is 
you know, that's at least a step. But there's still that blue line, you know. There's it comes still. up in numbers, Vinny. That's the whole exactly. problem with yeah. life. Uh-huh. The the majority of people blindly support everything that's happening, or willingly support one or the other, and about ten percent of us don't. So the other ninety percent look at us like there's something wrong with us, and like the go- like the government thing here. There's 14 different parties to run one fucking little country like this. Hmm. Let's make things more fair, okay, in the long run. So many different groups have a say that's, you know, taken seriously in the the courts or whatever the fuck game they play here. So it seems to me the people have more of a – they have the ability to hold their their public servants more more, uh, accountable. For what they do. Do you think Hans is listening to our broadcast? Oh, I don't give a fuck if Hans is listening or not. But uh, what I, I was getting he, at Wait a fan. minute. I wait thought he minute. was my fan. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, when, me, when me and Cirque first got together, we spent our first eight months in Copenhagen. And there was a guy in Copenhagen that was a thief in the political system. And he was famous because he was a thief. That's what people called him. Mm-hmm. And th- was he still alive when I was down in Copenhagen when you were telling me the cop? Because they publicly shame you when you fuck up too much. Yeah. Well, who would know it outside of the people that live here? See, it's not like public information. They speak their own fucking language, man. These people are... Um, you can't invade them. <laughs> you know, mentally, like, taken over with words and shit. You got to physically do it, and nobody's going to ever physically do it because the Queen of Denmark won't let it happen. <laughs> the Rothschilds must listen to her. You know, here we are coming up to the very end, and my number one fan uh, has wait. not even been listening. This is per- perhaps our greatest broadcast ever. Hmm. Oh, and I got that sucker oh, too. So you're sorry, so, Grim. You're so oh vain. crap! He got the duck. Oh, mm, he got the duck. Hey, kill, kill or capture is my policy on ducks. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't play the duck game. I don't care. Uh, yeah. I like ducks. I've been seeing in front it's of the grocery cat. store the last month. The ducks wander all the way over there looking for shit. Yeah? From there, They got this little canal thing they all seem to, you know, leave... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Hansel. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's just strange. You know, you go to a grocery store enough times, and then all of a sudden there's two ducks in front of it. You see them. Unless you're not observant. You don't look at things on the ground when they're, you know, doing weird shit with two legs <laughs> and feathers. Well, I can tell you this much. If it mm. walks like a duck and walks yeah. like a duck, it's probably a duck. E- even if it's a Danish duck? Well, yeah. Uh, I don't think they have accents. Do they? A mm. Danish duck accent? Well, I think gossiping about me with bullshit is kind of chicken shit, though. What do you think, Vinny? That's kind of stupid, too. What? It's so fucking child. Read read the chat on the RLM. I'm not going to say it in, on the radio. It's just it's ignorant. It's so ignorant. It's insulting. He misspelled. It's not insulting. Sure. It's not the point about the spelling. It's the, the point about how ignorant that is to accuse somebody of that over and over. Like, who listens to that? Huh? Oh, okay. Well, no, I like Hunt here. so far. Hunt, hey. Hunt is here. Yeah. Hey. No, me and Hump got along. Mm-hmm. I get along with everybody to a point. We just disagree about uh, the bigger ideas behind all this fucking bullshit game we live. And if you take it too serious, you know, the outside world is out there somewhere. And wherever I'm at, I see Cirque and the dog. I'm talking to you on the, you know, computer, but there's no freaking America in this room except me. Marco! Yeah, but they don't own me. They own my paperwork. It's different. Uh, no, that's what that dude is saying in this uh, court thing. Let me go get it. I've got it open. What? Okay. I'll, uh, this is a long one. Uh, no, 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 no. So it's two hours and no. thirty-six minutes long. Arrested for asking questions 
questions cop gets owned in court. So I'm an hour and one hour and fourteen seconds in, so I've got a ways to go to. But he's trying to say the thing, same thing, you know. Uh, and I've seen it per personally firsthand with Bruce Doucette. You know, this trying to go in there and to these courts and uh, prove that you're not nothing but some uh, commodity on somebody's piece of paper and you're only uh, a representation of it. Uh, that don't work. It don't work. These judges have learned how to just say no. So don't think that it's going to work if you end up there. I mean, you you get go get snotty with somebody in a public position and they say leave the property and then you don't and then they trespass you and then they take you to jail. I mean, um, how far do you want to go, right? Uh, I don't want to go. Yeah, I'm not going to. Now go what are that. you going to do? I'm not going to go put myself. Yeah. Threaten me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to. Why not? Because well, aren't we friends anymore? You don't threaten me no more. Oh, what? 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 I can't threaten you. How could I threaten you? I don't know. That's the point I'm trying to make about all this banter we have on the freaking internet. I mean, you've had bad words over time. Shut up. People, people shut yeah, your people, mouth. Right, but mystery. People, they get into uh, the lev the level of the words where they take them a certain way that they're not really intended, but they can be. It's like a choice you make. You know, like when I call you a butt nugget, if I really thought you were a butt nugget, I would not do radio with you. In fact, one of the reasons I do radio with you is if I feel like being ridiculous and saying that, you don't give a shit. You'd have to be a butt nugget to get uh, personally insulted by it. Hmm. Otherwise, what would you care? It's like calling me a nigger. Okay, yeah. That's me, huh? Nigger me. Nigger Lou. Ha, ha, ha. You know, come to the big top and watch me juggle my balls. Uh, juggling. Yeah, I, I was going to read a story about that, but I <laughs> juggling, forgot. Were you? <laughs> 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 do you? Do you juggle your balls? <laughs> I, I don't want to know. Wait a minute. What did I ask you for? Don't you listen to ICP? Don't answer that question, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> don't I what? Listen to ICP. Ain't you a juggalo? Man? Oh, hey, do you know the other day, uh, Thursday, I forget, I think it was Miss Kate. She was making a comment about Tommy Chong was being interviewed on the radio. Well, I've heard Tommy Chong plenty of times, and I, I know his story fairly well, you know, where I can tell the story and get his name right. It's it's that familiar with me. And the time he did in, in jail for the bong and all that crap. But the... Uh, <laughs> The show was just long, and if I started it, I would end before 20% off. So I got to go into the, doing my show after hearing this Joe Rogan interview, uh, Tommy Chong show. So it was really fun. I had a good time. Oh, I forgot and to it, put that one. It set my mind up to be in a certain kind of a wavelength. I, w I listened back to the, what I was talking about, and it was like, hey, I made some fucking sense on that show. What's going on? <laughs> Sometimes we get lucky. Well, yeah, then I do radio with you so we can, you know, do both sides of the story. Yeah, and get flippant at times. I like to get flippant at times. Hey, it turns out that birds do have accents, regional accents. Yeah, yeah but so. I had to learn to not not take it too uh, seriously. Because you're a, you're a loudmouth. You're you're not the kind of person I would know on the out in the real world, so to speak. <laughs> What? I'm just saying because uh, our paths in person would never cross. We, our interests are so different in real you reality. You don't even know, Mister. I, I'm. I tell. I got to go back to to where old boy I worked for that went to Berkeley College, and he he said I was a chameleon. So yeah, I, but see, we our paths didn't cross when we were in the same country, so it's likely that we're not ever going to you know outside of the the fluke of the internet. Me and you didn't would have never met in person. No, I have my wings clipped. I There's a lot of people, flying. and America's huge. So you're not going to meet many people in your lifetime. Oh, you think you know a lot of people. Oh, but I have, but I have. I, You know what? I met a dude in California in 1986 when I was on the run out there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he happened, he'd come out from Tulsa, and his dad and my dad knew each other. I could not tell you how many times did I have such coincidence like that throughout my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's what it is. Two things ha uh, two unlikely incidents happening happening simultaneously. 
What is so fucking hard to understand about that's what a coincidence is? Doesn't well, mean they, they don't happen. There's oh, I've I don't had believe so coincidence. many coincidences planned. in my life. So right. many. It, you know what? It, it, I'll tell you what. Pick up your freaking um, soda and throw it at somebody and, that says that and say, well, did you see that coming? Well, I don't mean you see everything coming, right? I mean, you coincidences. Oh, Vinny, that's it's foresight. Not, no, that's it, not a... Not quite what I mean thing. is, Deja wait, I'm taking a different. Wait, I'm talking about everything is not planned. Shit happens because you think of doing it on the sperm of the moment. Right. You're vibrating. Well, you're moving part through of a this plan existence. if you just decided to do it when you did it. You, you realize that as we're moving through this plane of existence, we exist as vibrational matter. This vibration that makes the matter. This tunage, this our tunication of all that is. And here we are. And so very, what, on a, strumming on a string on a guitar or banjo, you change that frequency, it changes the rhythm and so forth in the movement and the sound and the flow. And so where we go. Oh, yeah, only around where it originates from. Well, <laughs> well, maybe with reproduction it would work too to some level. But, I mean, there's got to be a difference between playing the live instrument and listening to a recording of the live instrument. There's a different... I think there'd be a different vibration. I had to research that to prove it, but it makes sense to me for some reason that way. But I know what you're talking about. It's like, you know, the water's still until you throw a pebble into the center and then it waves out all the way to the shore. Hey, I think I just got called a loudmouth by you and Grimner. Okay, why? Is that coincidence? Is that a coincidence? You talking about loudmouth, them talking about the Ramones previously, then all of a sudden, <laughs> bam, Ramones' loudmouth comes out. Huh. Uh, uh. Prove my point again, shall we? Yeah, Grimner caught my sperm of the moment coming. Because some decisions are actually made on the sperm of the moment. Ooh, that's how you know it. That's how you know it's good. It's a good gauge of it being okay. Yep. Ah, uh, this will be an interesting thing to look too, at. Hey, bonehead! Things that you think too much about, they're not in the long run. You someday you wish you didn't do it. Someday and if, if, if I'll there are things in your life that that you end up wishing that you never did, mind. what a pitiful life that must be. Wow. I mean, even the shitty things that I did or had happen still made all the crap that's going on now possible. Cause it's like a, it's like a, like a maze or maybe a road, and you follow it. And if you don't follow it, you can stop off on that road wherever you want. I like a maze. It's like really good with butter and parmesan. Right, but you know what I mean. You can look at it as a maze, or you can look at it as an open road you follow. Oh, and I'm when talking about corn. Stop somewhere, you stop for a while, and there you are. But the road's still there. You know what? The road is—it's in your head. It doesn't ever go anywhere. Well, listen, it's all in your mind. I what? don't care where what? you go, uh, Mister. You go look uh, at that sign. It has a little red arrow. It says you are here. I'd like you to think for a moment and tell me how they always know where you're at. I'd like you to prove that I'm here. See, prove to me. Mr. Vincenzo is the story that I liked the most. Are you that is what to I it? call proof. Ah, you Because I've heard. To wait it. a minute. I'll give you an example. Because I heard Kennedy was shot by Oswald, and I have read and heard Kennedy was shot by the CIA. And the, the story that makes the most sense is that Kennedy was shot by the CIA. And then it goes deeper into who's and what's and all, fuck all that. I'm not that deep into a, a historical event. Deep you go in so far world. into it, and enough is Dude. fucking enough. It already happened. And all the people that participate in these horrid, huge crimes on government level, they all outlive their fucking, uh, the crime. Whatever they did in it, they, they walk through it completely unscathed. Because the, the media presents the public with the most fucking ignorant shit, and the media uh, and the public buys it. They accept it as true. And here, and this is what media got, you know, they got this done through their bullshit because not enough people are willing to admit they're being lied to about everything you can't just stick your toe in the fucking water here you can't just dab oh I'm going to stand in the shallow end and that's where all the piranhas are 
go into the deep water. It's, it's scary, but you know what? It's safer. <laughs> the shallow end is where all the freaking uh, the weirdos and the parasites are at. And they call it safe. Are you with me? Did I lose you, Vincent? No, I'm just wandering and pondering. Yeah, but I'm thinking about that. You know, it's like when you stand st- in stagnant water, <laughs> shit happens. But when you're out there swimming in the deep shit, even though it's kind of scary and you don't know what the fuck's going to happen next, it's all right. And that's how I feel life is. Not, I'm not stagnant. I'm kind of like exploring shit. I'm dabbling my toe in a uh, in a society that I can't speak their language, and they know it. And they're cool with that, too, for the most part. They know how hard Danish is to learn. You they learn it. They are not, it's, mister. They may be saying everything right, not not even behind your back. They'd be, like, saying it right to your face and to each other and holding a straight face, and they'd be like, No, You're talking America there, sport. No, the Danes are a little different. Yeah. It's, it's not as common to act the fool here as it is at home. There's too many people at where we're from you get into these small communities like this, and you're accountable for what you do. People don't forgive either. They don't even. I don't have, think they don't even have a little kid that's known for holding his finger in the dike. Now that <laughs> that's that's the Holland. Yeah, I mean, what do you that, got? In that Holland, I thought it was Holland. Yeah, Holland, but you know, you can't even call it Holland anymore. Never the Netherlands. Land. All right, but well, it's not Denmark. Whatever the fuck yeah. that means, and I don't really care. Yeah, what do you guys got? Holland what are you famous today? for? What, a view of a Russian factory? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, they used to make cannonballs here once upon cannonballs. a time. Cannonballs, oh. Yeah. How yeah. do you guys even exist over there? You have what for food? Uh, do you, you have clothes, shoes? Oh, no, we all run around naked and, and eat berries off the, uh, the I foliage. I think probably the Germans have probably yeah. influenced greatly and allowed your race to progress. Uh, you know, see, I got a problem with all that too, because because the Germans were hijacked by you know the concept of getting away from the freaking uh, the Jewish banking. Well, let me make my point before you tell me what it is, okay. Mister, telling me what I'm going to say, guy. All right. So right, so the Jews didn't want didn't want the Germans to not use their banking, and the Germans didn't want to use the Jews' banking. Well, you. At that point in history, all the media that was owned and published and pressed was owned by these people that were in power. They told you what you were to- supposed to know. Yeah, And not that Hitler was a great guy or any of that Nazi shit. It's just the Jewish bankers that financed him weren't any better than the Jewish bankers he got the fuck rid of. It's the same freaking game. He was just playing it on a different level. Sound like to me really what happened was um, these some people of uh, Jewish uh, conversion descent, I think would be the right terminology. Conversion. <laughs> yeah. Some, yeah. Pick yeah, a religion. Some any religion. Facts. Uh, I mean, hey, because what wait, wait. What is being yeah. Jewish? Is that a religion or a race? It's it can't both. be a race because it's obviously disproven by the Caucasian uh, race of claim of Semitic being Semitic. So. You got to toss that out. It's got to be oh, a country then. What? Uh, <laughs> it's not a country. It's a nation state. Well, Israel. Well, okay. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, all in the name. Right. But the wording means something in legal terms that we don't generally understand because you get to nation and country and to anybody as okay, state, whatever. But legally, when you're in doing shit behind the words, the words have a different meaning than the ones we know. Well, maybe some of them Jews, or called Jews or whatever, uh, I'm not being anti-Semitic, like saying I don't give a fuck Uh, if you're anti-Semitic. Anyway, so what, there was these people that were killed or put in in the exterminator, put in prison camps or work camps, uh, did experiments on all kinds of evil stuff, tortured, and, uh, you know, they surely didn't uh, provide them with a, you know, bed and breakfast environment, all right? So maybe some of these people, because we see these Nazis that came to America, um, as some of these uh, Jews, uh, whatever you call them. All right, but Vinny, behind everything uh, we're told openly, there's 50 things we're not told, and then they uh, expose it after it's over. 
Right. I mean, what really happened? Because there were not six million Jews killed, because we already know from the 1800s, this was already a number that was put forth as uh, this event to happen, right? So what well, was the maybe number it was of from Jews? Oh, being overworked and diseased. Because well, that, that was part of it. They also were, you know, neglected, certainly. Uh, in, uh, At the end, when it was, uh, well, it was well, a, too, for a profit business, Vincent. Well, what did they make these guys do? Stand around and be No, they were manufacturing in the slave camps for goddamn Bush. In the, Bush uh, had a ball bearing factory in Auschwitz, I think. That was American money that laid the railroad to Auschwitz in Poland. They even changed the name of Auschwitz to Auschwitz because its original name sounded too fucking Polish for the Germans. So these, these this, people, these wait, 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 wait. These are the stories that I read that get my attention because, well, I'm not too fond of any of these fucking people. Any group, you're all fucking full of shit. If you belong to... Who belongs to a fucking group? It's an idea. You're crazy. You're out of your fucking mind. The only thing that matters is what you physically do, not what you tell people you do. That doesn't mean anything. So, see, it's, if, if if I wasn't telling the truth about like my encounters uh, with the kids at the grocery, this is what I wanted for life: something simple and just have uh, have a good time doing it. And I got that, but some people would think I was out of my mind, talking out my neck. Can you convert? I mean, if you're not, or is there like an what? honorary? <laughs> you still on the religion crap? I don't know if it's religion or politics. Here, or let me explain it, it to is. you in this term. I'm, right, I'm this having a hard a, time understanding. That's all. I'm, I'm going to explain it to you if you listen. Okay, I'll try okay. to listen to here again. Now, pick a year in time. Uh, pick one year, any, any, but something in your lifetime, but any uh, year in that time. Well, so after 1964. Uh, yeah. 19, pick a year. It was at 1973 or 74. When was the uh, Nixon? Uh, thing all on TV because they will be uh, 70, 73 73 yeah and so 74 go. yeah hold on he finally got out of office I think it was finally <laughs> 74 because uh, Ford took over or Agnew Agnew couldn't take over because he was on charge of something then, else yeah it started so with Rockefeller had, but he, he resigned speaker. as vice president and then it went on down the line and Ford was uh, what what was his yeah. position speaker that no, it was Agnew. Agnew Nixon and Agnew not Rockefeller I thought it was a Rockefeller, was it? No, no, president? no. It was an Ag Spiro Agnew was the governor of, like, New Jersey or Delaware, some some East Coast state. And he was in charge of his own beside Nixon. So they couldn't put him into the job, so they went to Ford. He's the Speaker of the House. Speaker, that see. is the way the game is played. Spiro Agnew, vice president, yeah, 1972. Yeah. So, but he was a piece of shit, too. Uh <laughs> uh, behind everything is a shit diamond. Fuck yeah, man. People make too much out of crap that they don't know anything about. Just talking about what they read. Me too. I'm talking about what I read. And then I apply the things that I read to my physical life, and wow, that worked. So I get a benefit. I, I would hope other people, if they choose the path I'm on, hey, hey, hey. It's better it's better to follow the uh, remedy directions than it is to follow the social directions. Social directions have prices to pay and pain and suffering involved with them. You know what I mean or not? No, you know, because I was just, doctor. You, okay, uh, go to a doctor, you get one thing. Go to natural remedy, you get a completely different result. Well, that's true. Because a doctor is going to try to get you hooked on pills, baby, so that you can feel better, but never be cured of what is ailing you. Right. And until you understand that concept, I know you understand it, but until you grasp onto that, you'll never you'll never accept it. And I'm one of those hardcore fuckers that I'd rather be sick than go to the doctor. I'll look on the internet, find out what's wrong, and I'll fix it. <laughs> Before I go to any fucking doctor, jeez, you know, would you take your car to a plumber and ask them to fix it with plumbing tools? No. But well, that's what I think you're doing when you go to see a doctor. What if you go see a lawyer that's a politician? <laughs> Same thing. This game is so fucked. We're so uh, 
we're screwed. Whatever is beyond screwed, we're not even close to that. Well, but listen here, Mister. We're at. You, you're 100 yeah. percent right. Where did I get uh, uh, Rockefeller? He was uh, at least the governor here in Arkansas. But <clears throat> yeah, uh, Richard well, Nixon no, in New York too. And, and Rockefeller your buddy. family, the Rockefeller Medicine. Yeah, they tried to get into politics, but the powers that really run shit put other people in place instead of them. Because there's been lots of times where the popular vote, the electoral college, didn't go with it. Like with uh, Hillary. So here it is. You're right. Spiro Agnew was the uh, vice president. He resigned. Duh. And Nixon. I was like, <clears throat> I know. And, and Ford <laughs> took over. But uh, Spiro Agnew was uh, a separate cor- corruption charge against him. That's why he uh, That's what I resigned. Said. And then he. So he went with Ford. Yeah. And then, uh, so Ford pardoned the whole lot of them, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Nixon, who, I'm not a crook, mm-hmm. won. By five five hundred and twenty electoral votes to uh George McGovern seventeen. Uh, he carried forty nine states with uh McGovern one plus D C and the popular vote is uh was a lot closer, forty seven thousand or million I mean and to his twenty nine million points there and uh well that's what you're told. Well, How do you know that's true? Because they have you, people they pay uh, to count these numbers for us. How else would we know what's going on? Okay, so are you sir? mocking me or are you no. answering me in red I'm what? mocking the whole system. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. For, we're actually agreeing about something. We always you do. You just don't know it. Uh, you well, just don't cause... know that I'm right already, and you have to, like... No, he's not right, but he's saying the same thing. I, went, hey, I have to put right. on my thinking cap and give it a ponder. <laughs> uh, ponder, gender. So, hey, yeah, we've run a couple you, hours. It's you, 420 somewhere. I hope you're loaded. Hey. 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 Oh. How, how many people do you think know what the word ponder truly means? I don't know. I know what it truly means. Tell me. Do you know what it truly means? I think you do. Yeah. A ponder. I think is you, getting, you give yourself separate. away with the weirdness of putting the word ponder together with the word gander, because gander is a misleading kind of word. You got to know what what it means to understand it. Yeah. So, Mister Deep Thought, you know, you're like the redneck from hell. <laughs> You've got a dictionary, and you actually know how to fucking read it. So you're scary with your southern draw bullshit. Oh, I then you all make, that. Hey, no, I'm right. not done. <laughs> then you make fucking sense with your words occasionally, not all the time. You throw people off when you made up stuff, but the shit that you say that's real, that we're familiar with, that's usually on the money. But Ponder Gander was pretty clever, you fucker. Because Gander, what's that? You think of a duck? Or, what's a gander? A goose. Huh? 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 It's good for the goose, is good for the gander. No, but. Or is it the other. There, I... There's two definitions for gander. Well, I'll tell you One how is. that evolved, if you want. But no, you huh? tell me, tell me your deal, or and I'll goose. tell you. Goose. Yeah, you tell me. Then I was almost. I'm it. not telling you that I have one. That's what I'm saying. Is the one I know is a gander is a a bird, mm-hmm. a male goose, right? Mm-hmm. But there's a, another definition for the freaking word, and again, it, it's more like a slang. I maybe there's a definition for it. I've never looked it up. Gander is to look upon. Right, but I've Out learned on. that as a slang, not as a word in the dictionary. I didn't never give it any thought. It's so obscure, gander. You know, what are you looking at? I'm going to take me a gander. I'm going to take a look. Ponder but gander. I thought it, right, but I thought it was a uh, slang word. I had no idea that it was a for real word. Really? There's <laughs> 400 fucking thousand words, Vinny. I missed one. I'm sorry. There's that many words. I didn't know you were going to give me a test Man. on the 25th. How long did it take you to count to 400,000, by the way? I don't know. It takes me a while to do that. You know, there's like an impossibility to counting to a certain number, and it may be in the millions or billions. I don't recall. That's so, what. Uh, why do you think I don't take any of this fucking nonsense too seriously, billionaires? What a bunch of storytelling motherfuckers we live among. If there was a billionaire out there, how come he don't start billionaire city? You know, get uh, expand the fucking world, make it better. No, they don't. 
they dump their money in the shithole that's fucking up the world that we're on. <laughs> so, no, there's no... These players in that fucking performance. Reality is different than that shit. Reality is people live in and get along with each other. And then you have that big money game with a bunch of freaking idiots running around in airplanes shaking hands with each other on camera. The fuck do they do that for? It's stupid. The whole fucking thing. This is stupid. Why do we even tolerate it? Well, if you don't tolerate it, you don't live in the real world. Well, my real world doesn't have a fucking hint of violence in it. So Somebody said that I, I lived think, in a dream world. I'm start, yeah, <laughs> but I'm starting to think that it's the other people you know, talking the shit that are the problem, not me. Huh. Well, not starting to think. I've always thought that. But that's because mm. I've you know, grown out of my little tantrum I was having growing up. It sounds like you've been having to ponder gander Tommy for yourself. Yeah, but not because I was trying to. It just happened. Yeah, you want to know how that I came up with the bringing the two to ponder gander together? Well, right, but to define ponder, it's just to think about something. Well, there's you're two not words to there come to yeah. a conclusion. So they're, you're not looking for an answer. You're not. You're just thinking about something. Period. Looking at it, observing. Yeah, it, it's thinking not about a, it. Yeah, observing. It. It's so, not a, a a conclusive word. It's a doing. It's an action word, I guess. In this in this name that you came up with. So my one of my very first. Uh, what would you call them? Alter ego, uh, alien, alien. Yeah, huh? Gets say. it. I have to huh? put my glasses on to see. But anyways, I saw. I started out to be clever with this uh, uh, propaganda panda. That's what it started mm. as, and then trying yeah. to make the name into a, a permittable address onto the Facebook. Uh, it, it, I was <laughs> yeah, trying baby. for uh, ah, freedom, baby. Papa, uh, Papa Gander, Panda, and Ponder, and I just brought it all to proper Gander, and then changed out the the Panda for me. This was like too, almost too commercialized in a sense, and so um, I decided to merge it into what it really was: a Ponder and a Gander. The propaganda, you know, of course, um, when it's propaganda, it's, it's used as a weapon. Uh, well, no, wait a minute. What we what we do is considered propaganda by people that uh, have opinion. Yeah, Jerry not necessarily Duvalu. listen to what we say, but judge what we say because we say it. So it must be as bad as what we type. Blah blah blah. Whatever their you know their negative is, and then we got people like Mental that you know they know. I know Mental, so he he's. Uh, friendlier and nicer when he comes to visit the RLM because he came in to, to see what we're going to talk about on the you know door table because you never know who's going to be here I might be alone might have you might have Mary so it, this is for like a select group and it's managed to carry on <laughs> hey you know that yeah. video you sent me mm. from Did I, uh, yeah. James Freeman News yeah, I thought you might appreciate that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah. So and then that's I, why I sent it. To you. I went and watched his link that uh, uh, that you couldn't see. They wouldn't allow it in your country. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He just gave well, you me know why, a, right? Why? It's a it's a monetary thing. If the company that distributes or manufactures or some part of it legally, the content, if they're making uh, money selling your information on the internet, hmm. they can't. Then they, the government won't post your shit. So they must be ad friendly, I think. They're be the no, they're protecting term. their freaking um, citizens yeah. through censorship. Yeah, because they would be wanting to for their own good. Because, something. Well, that's well, no, that's the illusion of of uh, protection from government is. Well, we're going to protect you from this horrible thing by not letting you see what it is. My free side says, let me be the one to judge what's bad for me and what's good for me. But the other side of it is. They're telling you up front, these people sell your shit, so we're not even going to bother to post what they have because the principle behind it is fucked up. So I just accept it instead of uh, pissing and moaning like a like a hurt voter. Oh, if I had my way, I'd do it like this. Well, I'm visiting in their country, so my way is not going to be a it's not going to be an issue. You said hurt or, gonna, or hurt. Nobody voter. gives a flying fuck about my per personal opinion about Denmark, unless it's positive. 
And so far, that's what it's been. As far as a country goes, you know, an organized group of uh, violent wackadoodles carrying a flag. This has been the, the nicest place that I've ever I've ever been that did that. Well, let, let me ask you this: Can uh, how could you see the one video you sent me, and then he sent the link to the other, and I could you couldn't see theirs? What's the because difference? whoever they whoever originated the film or distributed it sells your private information on the internet. How do so you do that? I've never seen anything on this. How I can this is the explanation I got. The okay. fuck do I know? They well, sell. They buy and sell your freaking um, your information, your name and your numbers and your birth date. You don't know how much how much shit there is to find. If you connect a name and a birth date together, man, you can you can find out a lot about people by that. Well, hey, so they sell the name and the fucking information to these companies to sell you shit. Well, I don't know how they do that. When you're on fucking Facebook, I've heard people talk about it. Then when you're on. Facebook, you and you talk about something or you bought something, all of a sudden there's ads for what you just bought or other things that are related to it. You know what I get on ads, which I do almost never see them. Not like I don't even have to look away from them to not see them. I'm only looking for what I'm looking for, but the ones on Facebook. Well, when I do happen to, to take a glance over, a, a little ponder gander, as it may be, yeah. Yeah. It, what yeah. they're popping up in there is things that I've clicked on and looked at. Like, I get a lot of camping stuff and then the um, electronic stuff that comes in. And then, uh, what else? Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to be funny, but I better not. Huh? I, was, yeah, I was Googling uh, uh, pressure cookers and uh, teddy bears. Uh, Cakes is playing on the main feed. <laughs> uh, my buddy was saying hi in electronic world chatter. Flash, flash. Oh, and Pancake Cirque says, hey. No, she okay. says, no, I love him. Yes, okay, I'm repeating her off the couch over a TV set. While I'm doing live radio, you interruptive <laughs> wife, go back to your knitting and be silent. <laughs> I'm the king, damn it. Me, not you. <laughs> I'm the king, not you. Me, me, me. And we started late today, right? Yeah. 20 after. Yeah, we've gone like uh Wow, well, let's over debate two hours. something important. Hey, let's debate something important. Like, you know what I really think Trump's brilliant about being the most brilliant thing that this an idiot president has COVID. done <laughs> since he's been in the, in the chair. Well, the they can't convince me that he thought of this all by himself. Okay. He's but not that smart. He's it, not a no, stable he's genius, not a sir. smart guy. He is not Good a stable God. genius. No. He's the worst speaker George, I've ever heard. George, he makes George Bush look great. But people. anyway, great, huge. would you say that China is one of the biggest suppliers of cheap manufactured shit? Exclusively, nearly. Okay, would you say that there's plenty of places in in Asia for expansion? Listen, for a bowl of rice oh, and a okay. dollar a day, if there's plenty of people willing to do it. Okay, that's what I mean. Is Listen, there, maybe your always, standards right, just and, a little and, too high, sir. Have you taken to consider that, sir? But you've got you've got 200 million captive audience freaking uh, participants in America that depend on the the internet. TV and whatnot, media for information to make lifelong purchase decisions and choices too, like medical. You know, if you come up with cancer, don't fuck with baking soda. No, no, no. Come to see doctor. Fucking gonna kill you because we got a five percent recovery program. Five percent out survive five years. <laughs> that means ninety five percent of the people that they treat don't make it more than five years <laughs> so what and there's so few people that few people that really understand the the dynamics of how simple this equation truly is the the thing is man-made cancer they've proven that but the problem is there's so much propaganda out there telling you the opposite and looking for cures you know save the titty we're doing tit research for cancer help 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 
And you hit people's guilt bone with that. You know, boobs are in danger. Holy fuck. I only got $20. Here, take it. <laughs> Find a cure for the boobs. Right? What we don't get taught is all these things are a product of our uh, diet <laughs> and the goddamn waste from all the manufacturing that they've done since they learned how to manufacture shit. So w cancer is a way of surviving the... Uh, the synthetic shit that we have as a product of uh, <clears throat> moving forward in future. You, you get what I'm saying here? Or am I yeah, being too vague? Let me, uh, let me give you You think an so, example. or do you disagree with now, that? I, well, I can tell you that I will, will do agree and tell you how. I would say in the same similar fashion as like rheumatoid arthritis that I got. I get these, uh, these nodules from it. So... Uh, and then I've told you ten times what'll help repair there's, that. There's th you doing it or things. not is on you. Yeah, there's a thousand things, right? Because yeah, well, I've okay, and I found it, out uh, that magnesium, okay, is very important in your diet. And the way I found out about it is, uh, I get an occasional cramp in my calf in one one leg, just the one leg. Blah blah blah. So what I found out was. There's a way to remedy it, but it takes about 30 days. Yeah, you've got to get serious about stuff if you want to, new, uh, you know, fix the environment inside your body and flush it out. And yeah, you that's can't, the point. You got to be careful about My, putting all that out all, at one time because the body locks it up. So this is the same thing you're saying. How this, you know, goes to lock up this invasion, right? And then, yeah, then of when all you the get all the other, eat. yeah, exactly. That's that's a, well. Not only that, but the if you mix that together, okay, we get the electricity delivered on a certain vibration. Yeah, that too. That's wasteful and bad for us, according to Larry Woods, who I believe. I believe his theory <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Now, because they do that, you get all these side effects of the delivery of the electric. So, how you deliver the electric is what matters, not how you got the electric. That that's a bullshit story, to keep you you know away from the delivery is your enemy. Not you're saving money maybe by using it, uh, blah blah blah, over burning oil, but you're getting the same delivery, so it doesn't help you any. Does that make sense to you? Or yeah, I, makes, I know. What, what, yes, certainly. Right, yeah. you know about it. I'm I'm learning like about this shit in my late <laughs> life. Stuff didn't matter to me till I was in my fifties and married a uh, married a Dane. My mom now all told of a me, sudden, you know, living a little longer is important. Where before I didn't give a fuck. Hey, my mom told me to ever since I was a little kid, take your shoes off. You got to get and touch the ground. You got to make contact with the ground. You got to be able to discharge that energy too. And uh, why? Probably the reason why I like to go out in the middle of the desert. In the, yeah, but see, it changes your body and shit like that, but it doesn't change the way that I interpret your words. No, you know I'm what I mean. Talking your about physical your health body. can be freaking a one, and I can listen to you talk and still think you're a butt nugget. Well, you know, it's not one of those things for other people. It's a very deep personal, deep. individual thing. And what works in this remedy world, what works on one works on all, not this one out of ten people suffer, you know, rectal bleeding and blindness and, you know, r warts, shit like, whatever the, the side effects of natural remedy are, uh, the cure coming, because you have to, um, <laughs> that's what cure is, is a little pain, the pain of the change is to let you know, hey, you're getting better, uh oh, did I bore you? You're whistling at me, you butt nugget. Oh, I was trying to fake out uh, audio. Difficulty. No, you were killing my... <laughs> I thought you were mis misappropriating my time. I was. Just a little bit. I did, I did. What? Are you being a smart ass on the dark yes, table, Yes, I was being mister? a butt nugget, mister. Wow. Mr. Uh, Philistine. But I Philistine. saw this thing that says... Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. In April... March 19th, 2019. Wait a minute. Oh, according to uh, this link, there's trouble in Iran before they even go to war. They got problems. Grimner, I was looking at uh, I was looking at Grimner's uh, chainsaw sharpener. I'm a, oh, is that what that was? Yeah, chainsaw so, shortener. Sharpener. Sharpener. Yeah. Shortener. Um, oh, 
Yeah, I was a, a professional arborist for many, many, many years, and I, I like to uh, sharpen mine with a, a hand file. But yep. it's not yep. for, uh, it's very specific on how you have to, what angle and all that, the number <laughs> yeah. of strokes. Yeah. So that looked Things to me like, I looked at it, man. I looked at it, and it looks to me like that would be, uh, and I'm no insult, but uh, you're obviously without a great, any experience as a chainsaw, and you probably hit the, the ground a lot. So rocking it, think you call it, or hitting the ground, you, you know, you then you got to, you got to sharpen it because else you're you're going to overwork it and you're going to burn it, and it's not cutting, and then it gets dangerous. Always keep the direction. If it if you can move all the way in an arc, then your body keep off. If you're right-handed, it's off to your right side. Keep that in a perfect arc where if it kicks back, in any forward or backwards, you're not in the path. But always keep it sharp. Now, that sharpener to me looks to be uh, adequate, a uh, dummy or foolproof or whatever. Um, one thing you want to remember about sharpening, too, is you want to take the same amount of metal off of both sides. And that, that is the teeth alternate, alternate direction uh, sides. So you go around the chain um, all the way around on one, one direction because it's every other tooth, and then at one point you may have two in the same direction come together because of the length of the chain overall. But go all the way around the one direction and come back and you go around the other way. Now you may want to take, depending on how much damage you've done, uh, but you want to take the same amount of strokes on both sides of your chain and all the way around evenly because you want to keep everything down uh, even, the same amount of tooth. All, uh, going all the way around. So you imagine if you sharpened one tooth and then the one ahead of it was not sharpened, uh, it would be just skipping over that tooth behind. And if you sharpen one deeper down, the cut would not be equal to the other tooth. Therefore, you would not have that uniform, uh, to, uh, you know, be un it wouldn't be uniform going around and in, in, in the cuts. And um, then again, you're not going to get the uh, optimal operation out of the chainsaw, which makes it more dangerous. Uh, yeah, so keep Damn, it off. Vinny. Keep it off the ground. Yeah. Keep it off your body. But, but Vinny, yeah, you know, you, you know, how few people are, need that advice. Grimner, <laughs> Grimner needed it. Did he? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm sure. I would. All right. To him. Just check. I, I, I'm good about things like I, that. I didn't interrupt you. Sometimes too, I gotta say, shut up that. and listen to me. I well, know. Yeah, but you're I'm giving us the, you know, the, I know these <laughs> things from doing it. Uh, for the state <laughs> from back in the 70s. So, yeah, but I preferred the hand tools over the power tools. Did you see what Keck said? <laughs> no, I was looking at the saw char um, chainsaw sharpener <laughs> thing. Hold on. I will go now to see what Mr. Keeks is on about. I have a little longer story than him. Yeah. So, I, uh, <laughs> I, I was showing this kid how to climb trees, and I gave him the spurs, uh, the spikes you put on your feet there. And I had him put him on backwards and just to watch him see if he guess what he tried to do. <laughs> it's just like he had no idea, no clue, like what I do now. Grimner's being funny to you, Mister. Oh, that and is hilarious! RLM. I know, yeah. hilarious. And you know, it's it's twenty it's twenty forty two somewhere, so I'm lighting up. All right, I'm ready. That's funny. I give a one shit question, he says. Well, yeah, Grimner hmm. says one question to me. Yeah. Uh, Benito yeah. Juarez, he says, are chainsaws in Arkansas toothless or just the chainsaw operators? <laughs> oh, that is good, Grimner. Yeah. Hey, how do you feel about being replaced by a robot? Uh, I like it uh, so many ways because I hate to actually have to go vote myself and if I could send a bot down to do it and yeah. I could like... Pick me Are up a, a pick me up a Big Mac, girl. super size of fries and soda while you you're out. You're a boater. Bring it. I'm a boater. Who, did you, who do you vote? I'm for? a motor boater. Motor. You're a voter. Boater. Wait a minute. No, I thought you were a not. Whoa. I'm a boater, man. We've what got an infiltrator about? in the our, our, our anarchist scum ranks. Well, everybody. Even if I wasn't voting, besides the point, ah, he could still get me that super size fries and soda pop pop. No, because pop. in my opinion, if you support this freaking insanity that we deal with, you're doomed. You know, called, called Already doomed. Nah, fuck doomed. Doomed is for idiots. 
You will submit. All that stupid shit. I'm going to scour the I wastelands wall. and survive shooting zombies with my artillery. Fuck you. Who'd want to fucking live through that? Me. I'm a survivor, Christ baby. I wish I could go on Survivor. I man, they wouldn't even know what's coming. <laughs> See here, we go. I'd be up like sneaking up on the oh, other contestants Christ. in the You're middle of the night. You're talking about American TV shows. <laughs> I'd be putting wire, wire around them and stuff like time to a tree, real. take them out Please. in the middle of the island. Bad, bad example, Vinny. I will listen, put you in my listen, basement, Mister. I, I will come. I will come to Denmark and put you in your neighbor's basement. Come on. <laughs> The sign at the town I live in is called Fredericksvark. Fark. I'll, I'll meet you at the train station. Hey, that's a great Fark. idea. We could write a yeah. song and everything. It's a, uh, it's a wonderful place. Too. I came it's to so Denmark on quiet. a train. Yeah, but it's just nice and rural, and people are kind of nice. I get a, I get a giggle out of it. But you know, I can go to the I can go to the big city and still. <laughs> this country's a little bit more relaxed, even in the big city. It wasn't so downtown where people were, you know, herded in by the, a, a lot and crowded in the small areas. That was I'll be right back. Sorry. Yeah, but you keep I, talking, buddy. Well, I'll be back in a minute. Freetown, yeah, well, Fre Freetown wasn't uh, overcrowded. I think Freetown had just enough people in it at all the right times when I visited it. And sometimes you'd come in, and me and Cirque would go down there maybe once a week or so, every other week. I can't remember anymore. I know I was down there every week when she'd be at work and I'd be hard, working hard on my marijuana buzz in Freetown. And uh, call her and let her know, oh, yeah, I'm smoking down in the old Freetown, having a spliff. And uh, things were fine. The people were just as relaxed there as they are here. I think it's the Danish thing. Uh, I remember sitting down and, the table was full of Icelandic women, and they're pretty to look at, but they just had a an uncomfortable um, aura. <laughs> what do you call that? What when you when you just sit near some people and you don't feel comfortable, whatever that is, the vibrations, <laughs> something about them just irritated. I didn't feel comfortable, and they spoke English too, but they had this weird accent that I wasn't familiar with. Later on, I found out it was Iceland. And went, oh, pretty place. Wouldn't want to live there. And then I did a little looking, and there's like a quarter of a million of these people. There's not much of a population, but they've got their own fucking country. Maybe they're a family. <laughs> Maybe the Iceland is just one family of people, and you know, they're all related to each other through blood. But who knows? You know, I wouldn't know. And yeah, they've got the hold on. They got their own language. I thought I mentioned that circle. Freetown, baby. Yes. Uh, because Freetown is the bomb, man. I really enjoyed the shit out of Freetown. If I didn't live where I'm living here, I'd like to live in Freetown. That would be my second choice to be uh, to live somewhere, because that would be ultimate uh, anarchist heaven. What the fuck do they care where you're from and all that? You know, it's about being responsible for yourself. It's not about being a burden on the people that are already there. That's so what freedom is. How here. do they procure their means? Then they they get uh, they got to pay like electric bills and water bills. Uh, or is that all free? I never from? really discussed all the details. They make links about how they do all that stuff. Do they like form host squads and go out and I don't know. chop they, the weeds down I, beside the roads? Uh, who maintains the roads? Do they like the have people, parties? Every individual was supposedly responsible for their own bit. And the roads were, I don't know, they were usable and didn't see. There were a few places that were overgrown to a point, but not to the point of Im, Im, uh, imp, impeding walking by them, shit like that. They were just isolated, you know, maybe it had some weeds or a little bit high grass, whatever. But nothing that you would step on walking down the road. So people just seem to have taken their upon their self in their own community to do what well, Cirque's can explain it. They she says they have work weekends. Yeah. So I guess they just stop everybody from coming in. You can't come in unless you're gonna work. 
and the people that live there already, that's what they do. They oh, do yeah. their maintenance on the weekend. You know, I've heard of people here in America, like they would, like when the national parks and stuff was shut down, the parks and all that. They, <laughs> yeah, they went to go clean up the trash, and they, they had enough money for cops to come and uh, tell them that they couldn't do that. No. No, no, no. Why? Wow. Yeah. I don't know, but Hus said Iceland is inbred mountain monkeys. <laughs> you know, it's wow. why it's why I support littering. It's because it gives people, people a jobs. reason to come yeah. together and pick yeah. it up. Under, under the yes. yeah, under the punishment of the state, they're employed to go pick up the shit you throw out of your car. It's like giving yeah, what a, a prisoner you're a, a furlough You're a fucking wonderful day. guy. Hey, stop helping me here on the door table. <laughs> <laughs> You I got, trash I, bug. Yeah, I told you my, litter litter bug boy. <laughs> yeah, I, you should have seen the look on my new friend's faces in Tulsa when yeah, I said, fine. "Man, I believe it's civic dirty to, to litter on the highways." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you keep it what? a lot of people in uh, What did, did you really just say that? Yeah. Well, yeah. Look at all the people that are employed as a result of you being a pig. And you know what? It's kind of like gambling. You know, you get that same sensation of will I win or will I lose? I mean, because what if you get caught, right? I think you're a pig then if you really do that. That's a nasty thing to do, you slob. <laughs> I I am against Vinny Stand on littering. I think littering is wrong. McDonald's do French fries, though, that's Hello. a bad thing to throw out because, I mean, they petrify, they choke. This is a Tortoises. dork announcement. They dork choke announcement. turtles. Don't. Oh, fellow yes. fellow dorks turtle. would not litter the land so other people could work. Man. Dorks would be nice. And Listen, be when I go down to the respect. river, when I go down to the river and I pick this stuff up, well, when I was in uh, Riverside, I picked up a bags of trash, but I didn't have any place to take it. So yeah. I just put it in big, huge industrial garbage bags. And I even yeah. left all the big bag of cans, aluminum cans. You know, I went back when uh, when I went up to Denver and when I come back to... I stopped on the way up and on the way back. And you know what I found? Somebody had taken the aluminum cans and left the trash bags. Wow, that's that's fucking cheesy. See, I, I left those bags of... the bag of cans to yeah. pay for whoever would haul that trash off. Wow. But they just took the cans. Uh, you got you got robbed. <laughs> See, your idea is just bad. What's wrong with being responsible for yourself, you? I you I self a, important. I fuck. elected myself a, sh a sheriff a Riverside. Stop keeping criminals and fucking jobs, you retard. On the Virgin River. De deprive them of the job, and you you doing it. Backwards, Nobody was monkey. there to do it. Listen, you're being a monkey. You're not so listening. It's what Listen. I like to do. <laughs> Is I like to pick up trash <laughs> along the river bed, uh, bed and yeah. bag that up and come up and put it by the sign that says "haul your trash away." And one, yeah. somebody, you know, people that litter, they would not actually carry that away. They'd walk by it because so, I put the trash bags right up by the very easy for somebody to pick up and haul away. But no, the cans, yeah. Vincent. But listen, so I put it there because somebody's going to come by. And say, would you look at there? Somebody left all that trash, and I'm gonna have to haul it off. But they do, right? <laughs> you walk the Appalachian wow. Trail, and you get to the parking you know, spot. Now that you've litter, told me that litter, story, litter, litter. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out how long it's gonna take me to forget you ever said it. Which part? <laughs> of it? Which part? Which part? The, the tr throwing the trash out to keep people employed part. Yeah, yeah. You're, that, you're a sick yeah. individual. Uh -huh. you, you more than likely you need you need to have tires, deep rooted, deep rooted mental instability. Tires, yeah. Plastic. You probably need treatment. Maybe some like psychotropic. But you have drugs. to have a certain amount of uh, distribution. Also, of you, the you might even can. You might even be like um, what do you call that? Uh, paranoid. Paranoid. Yeah, you were always worried about what other people do. No. 
No? I just all about you helping You just talk about them not picking up your trash. I, so what do I do? I help them out. It. I do it for them. And then I might redistribute it to it. It's kind of like See, a marshalling That's yard. why I think of you as a status. Because I, I say things all why the time. Why can't people just be responsible for their own fucking shit? Why is it so hard? So what do you do with the, the trash down on the river then? Well, who put the that fucking trash in the river? People in the that don't place? have the, the sense enough to carry it out with them. Well, then shoot them. No, you can't do that. Why not? That's murder. So what? What do you know who's the status? That's what the state does. <laughs> Comply or die. <laughs> well, no. The state insists on teaching people to be fucking slow, sloven idiots that don't know what they're doing in life. And just leave a shit storm behind them. Well, let me that's, let me, that, let me that, give you an that, example. That's not only acceptable, <clears throat> but it's pitched as a fucking status quo, bonehead. Let me give so, you. So, so adding to it by encouraging them to be fucking sloven pigs is asinine. So stop doing <laughs> it, or I'm gonna call you names. All right. Well, I want to I want to <laughs> give you some example here of what I've seen personally, because okay. that's what I like to do. I like. Okay. I don't like to, you know, like, oh, this guy said that, but I do. I say, hey, this guy said that, and then I say, like, hmm. But anyway, so on the Appalachian Trail, we've got uh, people that are hiking, these through hikers. They are dedicated to carrying out every piece of garbage they got. But now, if you get to the road crossings, um, the parking, little parking centers are <laughs> generally loaded with trash. Now, I've got to ask myself, is it that, uh, um, People that are just like parking there that would just walk, go walk down the trail a little ways and go, oh, you walk down the Appalachian Trail. Or is it the people that are, you know, coming back to the road point or bringing their trash out and thinking, I can leave this here and somebody will carry it off. <laughs> and then along comes a coon and digs in the bag and scatters it everywhere. And pretty soon, you know, you got trash ankle deep all down the parking lot. So what do you do? Yeah. What, what's your answer? What's my answer? Yes, sir. Yes. Stop raising people to be sloven pigs. How do you do that? Do you need the state to intervene? Are you not listening? My well, parents didn't raise me to run around throwing what shit if they all did? over the place. What if they did? Should there be somebody That's there to what force... That's what I'm fucking saying, you monkey boy. What aren't you understanding? No, no, you're not understanding me. What, what if they... Um, listen to me. Listen to me. What? what if you had parents that did not teach you other yeah. than to be a sloven what do you call them oh uh, you're, you're maybe no 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 it. stop stop we gotta hear it now no. now <laughs> now okay let's put it back the way it was your parents raised you not to be a, a sloven pig is that what you said yeah yeah from slovenia yeah. that was the example that I oh, called okay well the, wait hold on the but felix, the felix unger but was huge in me until i was about 10 years old Oh, so you was just a pig, and it took ten years no, of your life. No, the opposite. Your, your, is I no, I was very uh, neat and orderly until I was ten years old, and then something then you changed. Came, then you became a pig. The, well, not so much. More uh, like not slovenly, but not as anal about where things were. I had to have everything had to look a certain way and be a certain way, or I wouldn't do it. Well, you're, now we're going to polish and. And um, even grace, the word grace even is applied in that. See, different meanings of grace. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so this is like, you know, really refined. But what about the people mm. littering outside your house being messy? Uh, now, Where what if the next do, door okay, neighbor, hold on, the, hold on, what if the next door neighbor, your, the girl next door, she was uh, uh, from the time she was 10, she was always messy out there, and her parents were always <laughs> messy out there. Now, should you and your parents get together and go there and subdue them and make them clean up their trash? Or would you go just like, well, I guess we'll have to clean up behind them? Yeah. I, I know this is going to be hard for you to believe. Okay, but tell me. In, in the years of my youth and teenage in years, years the neighborhood that I, I lived in, the people mean? that lived in the yeah. homes were all responsible for their own shit. And they'd all been there for a long time. We we were newer people on, and we'd been living there since uh, '66, I think. Or five. You're not playing the game right. And so, in ten years, you still haven't been there as long as most of the neighbors. So it was uh, a time where people were responsible for what they did. 
There wasn't trash in broken down cars and Hold crap. On. Like I people were mad. They oh. mowed their fucking oh, lawns, had their kids do it, hired a neighborhood kid to come by once every whatever it was. I used to do it. Hey, I'll mow your yard for you know so much money when I was a kid. Yeah. But we're taught to be slovenly. It's not a normal behavior. Kids are normally want to be busy doing stuff. I found my I glasses. raised kids. They hey, I'm telling you, the <laughs> trick to raising kids that don't come out to be complete butt fucks is to engage with them and teach them shit. Garbage all over in Costa Rica. Not 25 Costa years Rica. ago. This just in. 25 years ago, garbage all over Costa Rica. Do you live in Costa Rica? There's a rich coast for you somewhere. Do you live in Costa Rica? I ain't never been to Spain. Aha! It's not in Spain. Well, I'm, obviously, I've never been there, neither. Okay, well, there you go. But it's a place that exists on the globe, blah, blah, blah. But the point yeah, is, love. most places that exist in the world now, I've never been to them. I've been to a lot of places, and I've still yet. To say I've seen all of it, are you nuts? You, I don't think in a lifetime anybody could see all of it. There's too much. Pavlov's baby, so I like it. Like nah, it. because when you stop, I mean, you, how far around you can you see? So far. And then when you, you physically walk through it, still is another thing. When you fly over so much of it, boom, you can't say you were there. You flew over it. I so flew, you miss a lot of shit traveling. I flew over too. a piece of Canada out of Detroit one time. Going, going <laughs> out to of Detroit. <laughs> We're, you southern fuckers and your southern drawl bullshit. What? How do you say Detroit? Uh, how do I say Detroit? Detroit City! Say Detroit. What? I think it's more of a Detroit mm-hmm. than a Detroit. Mm-hmm. In, I'm L.A., man, from L.A., Detroit. I don't know. We didn't live in Detroit. We did not care. Probably didn't recognize it as a real place. So what? if it didn't, if when I was a kid, I'm telling you, if it wasn't in California, it didn't exist. People were all about California in my day. It was a great place. I went back and forth to the West Coast as a kid growing up from uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, the whole West Coast was yeah. fucking Vegas and and, uh, California and Southern California. The best of it was probably the the first five years of the 70s. Yeah, this was in the uh, 70s. Yeah, the 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 first five years of the 70s, for me, were the Man, that was that was, a, was when people were job. nice. And you could meet strangers, not be afraid of being, you know, molested or shot it was or the whatever. TV. That's it. Yeah, because all that brutal, um, brutal, violent shit that does happen. So, so you know, does happen out there, sure. But the way it's exaggerated and and presented on film and and media is just over the top. You know, like in a movie, they'll fight for ten minutes. Nobody's got a, a cut or a bruise, no sweat. They're all their hairs in place. Are you fucking nuts? After I punch you in the eye the first time, you're gonna swell. <laughs> oh, so, you know what? Uh, you know, I used to fight a lot. You know how come I? Yeah, well, always, ago, almost you always you? win. Because <clears throat> I could get hit a whole lot more times than you could get hit by. Yeah, me. see, that was the that's the key to fighting is how much of a beating you can endure. Wearing the other fucker out. There's, there's a big advice for you the, here. There's no winners in a knife fight. If somebody pulls a knife, <laughs> even if you get a knife, you're gonna get cut. You know, I don't fight anymore. If somebody pulls a knife, run unless you got a gun, and then it ain't no fun. When I don't foresee out. that here either for some reason. <laughs> this is a more stand-up place. I mean, I mean, I'm so I'm comfortable with Harley's rolling down the road. You know, it's like. It's like the sweet sound of, you know, of freedom. No, these people are the bikers. I think are the closest thing to anarchist as you can get, and still be uh, a government because they've got their own set of rules that they live by. Code, did, you know, a code, okay. and it, and it's presented to us in one one respect through media and shit like that in movies. But when you live something, then it's completely different. You know, and then the Utterly. rival gangs bullshit, it's no different than any fucking government on the planet. They all fight with each other, too. And then they take it out on each other, killing each other's kids. Whoa, what a fucking brilliant way to that is to sort out a problem. It's terrible. Hey, why don't you go over there and die protecting my belief? 
<laughs> Why don't you fuck off and leave me alone? <laughs> that doesn't work too good. Yeah, people aren't even have the option to go to Canada anymore, I don't guess. Well, you know, um, Chong did. That's how Cheech met him. He was in Canada during the uh, inauguration <laughs> confiscation. I remember when. <laughs> what do you call that? Uh, when they the conscription. Yeah, conscription. <laughs> when they take you to war against your will because if you don't go to war, you go to prison. I think Ali did what three years in prison because he wouldn't go to fucking war, or two years, or did remember. he do time? I don't know. Let's get confused on that. But it was a big fucking social issue. Yeah. Because Muhammad Ali said, well, I'll beat him up, but I ain't going to kill anybody. <laughs> Draw the line with killing. No, 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 no. You know, fight. He was a fighter, but uh, I ain't going to kill anyone. Fuck you. Well, hey, look, I'm a fighter, but I don't want to go to somebody's country and kill them because uh, they ain't paying the right price for oil in America. Well, that's the media and movies talking mostly <clears throat> anyway, Vinny. Most people are nonviolent as a rule. It, all this exaggeration oh. and this chat room shit and being pro this and pro that's just words on a screen held by what? By who? If it doesn't exist in your physical life, it's just stories you read. Ain't no different than reading a spaceship story or I lived on the Venus story or something. We went to the moon story. All the same shit. Yeah. What, you think, uh, nah? Oh, come on. How can it be any fucking different? If I tell you something, like... Me and Sirkin and, and uh, uh, well, Kelly, we went to Freetown. I lost Kelly's name for a second. But uh, she'd never seen anything like it. And when I got to Freetown, I'd seen uh, San Francisco in, in the early 70s. So Freetown wasn't like a, a culture shock. It was more like going back in time. Like I'd hit a time machine. <laughs> and I ended up in my past in my present physically and I don't I don't know how, how you could do that on purpose so that was just the way I interpreted the surroundings I was in felt really comfortable too me and Cirque used to walk through Freetown and catch a bus and go you know through the city to go to a department it was really nice it was a good time in life and uh, I'm glad it happened you know but I don't want to continue to do that today. Now I've got a, a different... I want to get more into the artsy thing. Take a little bit more care of my leg now that I know something's wrong with it. What's wrong with your I leg? Do, oh, I've got some kind of a um, magnesium deficiency according to the information. I need uh -huh. to have uh, more magnesium in my diet. And Milk of magnesia. No, no, no. Magnesium. Sword. You butt nugget. Yeah. But the point you, is, you, is... Honestly, uh, though, that is an actual... Uh, beneficial uh, uh, homo. I was going to tell you why, so you know what the point of it is. Yeah. Because muscle cramp is a, um, a sign of a magnesium deficiency. That's what lets you know that something's wrong. You need to. But I didn't put the two together until the other day. I was looking for an answer, but I didn't know what what to look for exactly. Yeah. And I accidentally tripped across it. Uh, reading a magnesium link and it sent me to if you have uh, like every once in a while and maybe every couple of months and it's been going on for years and years I hear a high pitch like a ringing in my ear I know you can't hear it if you're in the room yeah some, something similar to that but on a frequency that it's somewhere beyond like sound it's more like you feel it I have you that actually in, if there's okay. like no sound if everything is off, then yeah, yeah it, and I find too that uh, with <laughs> Wi-Fi on, it, you can hear it a little bit louder. So, yeah, the Wi-Fi. Well, it's and an, other, it's, it's an electrical signal. But the yeah. point is, I think that's what we're hearing down. is these frequencies that are off tune, vibrating. No, it's a symptom of a magnesium deficiency. Oh well, yeah, I mean beyond could be that. that. Yeah, beyond that, you know, beyond what is sorbic acid it's when? Your muscles produce when in stress and exercise, and yeah, so, but we're yeah, being fucked with in ways that we're not explained about through electricity and Wi-Fi. I'm and trying to unvibrate food you. and water. All these things are adding to us that aren't natural are bringing out a response. Okay, I'm just saying that people 150 years ago, they did they didn't get inoculations, they didn't wear rayon, you know, they didn't eat freaking poisoned food out of a can.
They didn't drink fluoridated water, so their quality of life, although it was less modern, was uh, better for them. They lived a better quality of life. We live longer, but the quality of the living isn't as physically comfortable. We live cheap on cheap energy, dude. We we are so coddled by Second not rate. having yeah, to garbage. go out there and produce our own food, you know, for oh, forever. Yeah. You know, my yeah. grandparents, my uh, my uh, grandpa, he put five acres of corn in, and and then I don't know how big the garden spot was. It was huge. I mean, you know, uh, you grow stuff that uh, you can and put up and preserve, and you raise it, uh, you know, but your stock at a certain time of year. And, you keep chickens and you keep the, the when you pluck the feathers off you keep them in a toad sack till you got enough to stuff them uh, the ticket on the back of uh, uh, your bed you know make you uh, a feather bed be uptown then sleeping on a cloud of feathers you know is that what you chickens, want to do you know how many chickens you'd have to pluck could you imagine counting up how many chickens it'd take to stuff a mattress you know, I mean, you're eating them chickens. You know, it's not pulling feathers off and letting, you know, naked chickens run around. You're going to eat them, too. Part well, that's of, the, part of living. I guess that's the point of that whole part of the topic was we're so modernized, but the price we pay for it doesn't really justify the easy movement through life. You know, we got it physically easier. But exactly. as a result of having it physically easier, we eat more poison because they're giving our, us feed. Yeah. Our not bodies food. are are not they're they're not doing what they could do if if they weren't being disturbed yeah. improperly. That's what I think. My tire summer. gardens are growing. Eh, hey, what are you growing? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I've got uh, carrots and chives, and I've got cilantro cool. and kale and uh, different beans and peas and uh, different melons and uh, cucumbers and pumpkin uh farmer vinnie you're just like mary small you're like no, in very the small i'm have to go gather my own soil up together to build because i mean i live up here on this uh, it's clay and sandstone alternately for uh no how many yeah thousands of feet and then you know go through shale and whatever all this stuff that got well, piled you, up you know how to cure out. yourself of what you like the most what i like the most yeah, whatever it is that you like the most, if you ever not want to like it the most, I got a cure for that. What? Cut your eyeballs. Eat it every every day. Eat it every day, all three you know three times a day. However many meals you eat, eat that listen, all the time. Listen, Mister. And at some me, point, you, you're gonna you're gonna want variety again. I, I'm gonna prove you wrong right there. Now I'll live one winter, uh, uh, particularly on uh, baking. In which I cooked that to make the grease to make the gravy and bread. Uh-huh. So where to did this you live? Day, I was out in Vegas one winter. Uh, okay. I did a so you had so access I was just going to out uh, making, restaurants and shit. No, I would go to the grocery store and get it. But no, listen. The point is, it's just uh, a, it was a short period of time. I lived strictly on. Uh, I would just call it biscuits and gravy. Now, what I had this morning, oh. biscuits and gravy. I've said yeah. I could eat biscuits and gravy on gravel. I'm not yeah. kidding. If it was my last meal, if I could request, if I was going to be Yeah, I got the point. Biscuits and gravy. I never get tired of biscuits and gravy. <laughs> you make I can your eat it good. every day. Not only for breakfast, but even for dinner. Hey, let's Let's do something crazy. What's that? Let's have biscuits and gravy for dinner. Oh, well, see, that's I'm, good. I'm not cut like you, and I know that I know myself well enough to say that no matter what it is, okay, if I'm eating it or drinking it, I need I need a break from the routine. I don't like routines. I like to be surprised by what I'm going to take in. I like uh, beans and tigers. So I too. can't. No, nah, I'm not comfortable like that eating the, the same gruel time. No, I want a little variety. I change up. I have an oatmeal or pancake. Ah, yeah. uh, see now you, you just said uh, just two minutes ago biscuits and gravy, I and could. now it's Every oatmeal. Day. That's two Every, things. No, that's more than I. I didn't stop at the oatmeal, but <laughs> no, okay. there was a time uh, I ate it every day. Continue yeah, yeah, for a good yeah, long yeah. while through a uh, well, portion of the winter. Anyway, do you think it, do you I think it love depends? biscuits and gravy. Yeah, but do you think it depends on where you're living at the time? Well, it'd have to because I remember making biscuits and gravy in 
Louisiana in 1980 something, maybe two. Anyways, uh, Mexican, uh, Salvadorian, and uh, I think there's another Mexican. I forget the third guy. I remember the two. Yeah. Anyways, mm -hmm. I've always been so proud of my my gravy skills. I just love it. It it was just like to them. It was like there's no taste to it. It's you know because Mexicans have <laughs> gravy skills. Stuff, yeah. You lucky fucker, you. Uh -huh. yeah. I want to be like you when I Some grow up. Some people do not appreciate gravy. I myself believe I have ah. gravy ah. in my blood. See. Yes. Yeah, Arkansas you go. and Oklahoma gravy origins. See, yeah. wow. No, I'm, I've never been in love with any one particular food to carry it on like that. No, no, it's food's I, food. My grandpa, he made this really, really white, thick gravy. My dad, mm. his is really, really brown, thin Brag gravy. Brag on about your gravy skills there. Mine, I took my skills Chef from Boy both Arty. of them and I perfected it right there in the yeah. middle. They, they, they've they written songs about gravy, man. Come on. They're <laughs> talking gravy. Well, right. But, you know, people that live in the sticks write songs about living in the sticks, too. Surprise. Hey, I got a real good thing for... Write about. I, I'm going to leave that. I'm dropping it there uh, from Bad Luck Jones on Twitter. Bad Luck Jones. Yeah. What else are you going to do? Shakespeare's novels? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had a good suggestion of uh, some poetry, but I just don't know what poetry mm -hmm. does to do and just to mm. practice speaking because I need to uh, articulate a little better oh you know what I didn't do this time I didn't write down what we've been chatting about I through the show well I, well I did it I did it like two weeks ago or through the show I was keeping notes on the computer and I didn't do that today so I have no idea what we did the show about today except me and you agree about some shit and other things we don't see eye to eye on. And did, did we could call it bad luck for but, bad luck for some. See, I'm I just so different from you in a lot of ways, like the food thing. Repetition bores me about any. Uh, well, except for my my wife. Uh, that repetition. When I was in prison, I had ramen noodles make a ramen noodle <laughs> bread every day, probably. Yeah. You know that shit's made out of anyway. Hey, poor guy. It kept me but, alive, man. I don't give. Oh, hey, that's not the point. It's the things that are legal are fucking bad for us, and the things that are illegal are not bad for us. And we're taught the opposite of that, like a bunch of idiots. So, because I was a rule breaker and didn't trust the fuckers that were talking, yeah, I came out ahead. In the well, I, I guess I, in some ways, you'd say because of the. Cannabis. I live outside the law, and but it, the law do, here is not so concerned about somebody that's not doing anything wrong. They smoke some hash. That's really incidental. You want to hear the keeps, biggest, it, and biggest it keeps, lie? To you know, song. it's a business here. Wait a minute. Let me finish something once in a while. Every once in a while. But it's a business here in Freetown, and the state knows that. So. If the state really wanted to fucking be uh, cunts, they could just put a big uh, prohibition on cannabis. That would end that and enforce it. But they don't because, seriously, the truth about it is so harmless and it really does help people in the long run. But it's created a black market. <laughs> they can't tax it. <laughs> I think that's a new, <laughs> new way hey, to play. What? There, talk about fucking the central bank. Because <laughs> not everything's done in currency. you got to remember that. people. And just because the the newspapers report prices of drugs, that's the newspaper's version of it. You don't know what... You, know, <laughs> you don't know what kind of deals people make between their, their selves. You're only hearing what the newspaper wants you to know about certain things. Well, I'm going to tell you, never believe it if somebody says they don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. <laughs> Muskogee. Wow. What state is Muskogee? Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma. Yeah, okay, Oklahoma. I couldn't remember. There's so many states and cities and countries and all this other shit. But you know what I'll never get get uh, the point of? <clears throat> the one on top of your head? No, nah, you buddy goober <clears throat> spaceships. 
Yeah, Every me neither. Where are you going to go? Are you, you going to go be an explorer? It's the, it's the, the Star Trek. Does the guy have a copyright on the word gold. spaceships and he makes money every time he types it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the fuck is the point of all that? I mean, wow. And and Hans has the copyright on no. when you say Jew Dread, so he gets paid on that every time. Yeah, I get a kickback. I mean, don't hold it against me. I, I, I've got to make a little something off this deal right here. I mean, I spend so much time yeah. and energy on these wow. guys. How sad. That's yeah. That's it's gotta it's, be a it's a it's a marginal guy. amount. It's it's like not even yeah. I don't even have to need to report to the IRS or nothing like that. I mean, IRS, I, you, <laughs> you and your latest games, IRS. <laughs> Are Only, you ready oh, but, to bubble? Yeah, but see, the trick is knowing that it, when you beg them on their application to let you play. There's that's all they need. You don't can't get out of that. You've just signed it, stupid. <laughs> but a, but I, 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 I did it under you're duress. You're begging them. You're begging them to let you pay taxes. Do well, you think they're going to say no? <laughs> Read they, the paperwork first they before don't even you sign say something. Thank you. Learn what you're signing, people. Well, we've got one minute away from a, a three-hour broadcast. <laughs> no, we don't.